The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. <laughs> hey. Hey. Ew. Yeah, that's a little like, nasty. Hey, we are yeah. the world. Yeah. Yeah. Why How do you, you hate? hate? I watched the doc. It was good. Almost cried. Almost? Almost. Wow. It was they kicked. It was, e out. it was beautiful. It was beautiful. That's what. Yo, I brought the Prince was like that, man. He couldn't come to the party. I didn't see it yet. Oh, okay. I know why you like Prince, yo. Yeah, he did. It sounded They're like the same you. Person. He act like yeah. you. Sheila E was like, ah, Prince ain't going to want to come. There's too many people there. He's not going to enjoy himself. I was like, yeah, that sounded like Joe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the king of who all going to be there. Fucking Cindy Lopper and them. Get out of here. <laughs> The hell out of here. Quincy Holy said notes. the Quincy said the white boys brought it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? I, I'm gonna watch that shit tonight. I am. It was good. It, it was, was good. good. It's yeah, definitely worth it. I liked it. Yeah. Flip said Michael Jackson was sitting there like <laughs> <laughs> well, he did all his parts beforehand, so yeah. he was just waiting on these non-singing motherfuckers to sing. All he had to do was stand there and watch. Yeah. Who was the guy that, that was the drunk that couldn't get his line? Algero. Algero, yeah. 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 What is wrong? Algero was a drunk? Algero was drunk in it? Oh, lit. my God. He was lit. You lit. lit. To the point he could, he could barely sing. He could, he could yeah. barely stand. It was bad. They were like, we got to get his part now they had before to chop he gets his, too they drunk. They had to chop his vocals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was fucked up in there. Yeah. Word, word. That's I said, you just ask who Al Jarreau is? He did. I just shot. Mel, just threw you right up under the oh, I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean no, to. It's Black History Month when you so, snitching. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should get a pass. Oh, this I, month. You do know he's black? No, I mean, I'm black. Like, she's snitching <laughs> on me. I didn't know he was black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Algerreau. even more the reason to not snitch on me. I don't know who Al, I don't know who Al Jarreau is. I know Al Roker. Oh, shit. <laughs> Close enough. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, old man that just came over doing 40. Don't get caught in this crossfire. <laughs> How your business? Let's keep it clean today. <clears throat> you know, your man is, look at your man. Corey be over there trying to antagonize niggas on the low. Yeah, he do. And he does a good job at he it. He do a great job. Great job. It works every time. He gets mail all the time. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Ish yeah, ignores him because he says, you on that light skin shit. Ish ignores him, but I get him. He get me too. I be hearing that fucking voice. It's like right here. <laughs> oh, man. Well, happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. What is that? Hawks, you good? <laughs> you right, Hawks? I'm sure. You, you can't. Said, you said what's that? You you, I think I'm the one that's supposed to say. I think I'm the one that's supposed to say. Well, what's that? But what he not supposed to no. say is what's that? Oh, uh, why? Because you half black. I'm not. Oh, half yeah. black. <laughs> he should know what that's like. He's half white. Oh, <laughs> you shit. Fuck you talking about. I'm not you half fucking enough. traitor. I'm bl- I'm black, nigga. So then what you mean? You're not so black who? fully, bro. Who you're not, not black? black fully, bro. Go do your DNA test. Stop using an excuse that you don't want them to steal the DNA and clone. They got you. my DNA already. I am and what are you? <laughs> you're not fully black, bro. Lina. You're not fully black. You know you're not. You just want to come up here and no. I'm fully black. Is this a battle that you've gone through your entire life? Yeah, he's like, his face is no, red. Here yeah. you all. come with the mixed cape on. Yeah. Shut Get your ass out of here. You white too. Shut up. <laughs> all mixed is. I'm sure somewhere down the line, every nigga in this room is mixed somewhere. Nigga, I don't, I never You're mixed met. recently. Yeah, our lines mixed. a little further yeah, down with the mixing is that. Ish, you really, you, you're we recently mixed. mixed. way down there. So you think you're mixed like great, 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 great? <laughs> no, nigga, you mixed like grandparents mixed. No, nobody in my family that I've ever met is white. Not one person. Not grandparents, not And you did your DNA test? He did not. Just, uh, he did not, exactly, nigga. <laughs> did you? 21 and me. I, let me pay for your 21 and me. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I might tell you what yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tell him. Tell you, tr- him. you trust the whites to free you, nigga? Oh, shit. You trust the whites to go buy that property that you sent my man to go get? You yo, suck yo, ass, whoa, nigga? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Fuck What's that nigga, man. <laughs> Fuck that nigga, son. Yo. Always over there talking, running his fucking old ass mouth. You yo. trust the whites? No. Yes, you do. You here with him? I'm not. Well, I respect. It's, 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 an idiot, it's yo. your fault that they calling us beige rage. It's my fault. <laughs> they said we he was up here again. having... <laughs> Khaki confusion. <laughs> it's my fault. They 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 called us nudes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's funny. 
That was mad funny. <laughs> no, that's funny. That's, 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 that's funny as fuck right there. Yo, you and whoever did that, that's great. They called us nudes. <laughs> nude. That's morons. funny, son. That's funny, son. <laughs> it's me. Yes. An idiot is what you are. I'm going to get you next week. Mm. I don't feel the greatest right now, but next week, yeah. I'm getting you. Yo, you such a bird. And yo. if I get some energy later, I might, I might change my mind. You got to drink one of these. Chill out. What's that? Shit, I just want yeah. It's vitamin B. Shit, nigga. I asked you for it over there. You fucking kept it to yourself. B. You don't want to see anybody shine. <sighs> My man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't believe in no Black History Month, nigga. Every month is Black History Month. What the fuck are we talking about? I forgot who I was talking yeah, to. Yeah, they're going to relegate Every day is Valentine's February. Day. Every month is Black History Month. 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 Yeah, yeah. I, I forgot. Bullshit. Corey. This what Corey. This what Corey need a mic. Because y'all buying happy things. Thanks, Valentine's <laughs> Black History Month, well, boss. You, you feel like Black History Month is bullshit too? You say? No, I was just piggybacking. Oh him! Oh, you know, I'm saying that you can't. Yeah. That, I, you shocked me. <laughs> you hurt my heart. <laughs> oh, oh man, that's why I was be shocked that she said it. Ain't no Black History Month in Canada. No, there's not because they ran over there. They went to it. Yeah. They went over there. So because they, they Harriet Tubman there. took them niggas over there. Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> they had a, ain't no Black History Month in Italy. Ain't no black history Yo. month in Nigeria. What the they, fuck is we talking about? They have it in Canada. They do? They do. Yes. Oh. Uh, same is same month? Is February? Is it February? Uh, yes. Oh, see? I it's international. Uh, Put some spec on Black History Month. <laughs> you a sellout, son. Yeah, word. You a That's sellout. That's crazy, dog. Raccoon, coon, uh, <laughs> balloon. Uh, uh, not a buffoon, because you're smart. They got to shoot you with a harpoon. Get your fat ass out of here. <laughs> yo, stop. <laughs> I don't want to fight. Right, right, right. I can't. Yo, stop. Yo. You can't fight that one. Happy Black History Month there to all go. of you guys out there. We don't mm -hmm. have to start. We're just kicking up the months back. In. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> yes, we know it's an American thing. We know, come on, we can get into all That's of that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Five later. percent of shit later. <laughs> I was just telling us about the groundhog earlier. Oh no, I was saying we gotta take it. We gotta take something from the whites. Like we have to take something, and you can have the groundhog. I, I, we we, we gonna take, <laughs> take groundhog day and make it like. Pitbull day or just something. <laughs> yes, shit. Idiot, uh, something, you know? something. I'm something. something. I'm tired of it, bro. Every time I look up, like I was, I'm still hot over swag surfing. Everybody else just let it pass. They really stole the shit. They it's, did. It's gone. Mm -hmm. They did. It's over. I mean, it's gone. They made a history of stealing our shit. Yeah, but we got still some shit back now. Baby, no, I, but I don't think swag surfing is ours originally. The Beach Boys and them niggas was doing that shit back in the day. Huh? Know? Right. Get around, get around, I get around. Yo, dog, who <laughs> know the Beach Boys are not so Al Jarreau? Yo, that's crazy to me. Who the fuck is Al Jarreau? Who is he? What song does he sing? He was a drunk. <laughs> he couldn't get his words out. Oh. <laughs> he looked crazy. In that. Right, Fox? He did, he did. Nah. He did. Microphone check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Welcome to the Joe Button Podcast. Joe Button. The bar, bar none. The standard, the premium. Y'all know the fucking vibes. Flip and Mel, Mel, Mel. All right, what episode is this? 696. Welcome to episode 696 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with some really beautiful people. To my right, the amazing Melissa Ford is here. Hootie hoo. Hootie hoo. Hootie hoo. Big Flip is in the building. Ish is here. Ice is here. Parks is here. Corey's here. Poe is here. Eric Sin is here. And Tanner's here remotely. Mm -hmm. gang How's gang. everybody gang doing? Gang. What's popping? What's popping? Feeling great. Feeling great. Feeling great. Feeling great. The viral count is two for Joe. One for Ish, zero mm. for Queen's Flip. <laughs> Got you. Two Told niggas I'm keeping count. It's really more than it's two. More, it's more, more than two for you. Really more I, than two. I, like, I feel like in a week you've had, you've had yeah, three. Had yeah. Like 17. Yeah, but it's zero <laughs> Got for you. you. You talking about zero. Flip. Now, how do you feel about that? You talking about zero on the platform, the platform, the infrastructure that you created for years. That's how you go viral. You go viral, you got, you know, you got your infrastructure that, Structure together, you got everything together. You know the blogs. I don't need them niggas to have engagement or viralness. And I told you on the phone, your content don't show up in my world or my joint. Mm -hmm. I don't watch the Hollywood shit. unlocks and shade room. It, it doesn't. That's old nigga shit. Old niggas do that. Us young niggas, we not paying attention to that. But 
You was viral. Talk. Let's get it. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 36. You're not a young not, nigga. I'm young to, compared to y'all. To I don't who y'all? I don't think Flip knows what viral means. Man. I know what viral is. And we're not starting with that. But yeah, but I know what viral is. Wait I, a minute. Viral consists of different blog sites, different, like when, when your video gets a lot of traffic at a short span of time. So you think that only happened amongst the 40 and ups? No, it's a Jabal right now. That's why I said stay out of it. It's between me and my man. <laughs> I was just asking. Stay out of it. I don't want to throw no shots to you. You right. raise your hand. But yeah. Listen, well, I could do it for you today. Pause. I don't need you to do it for me. That's and that's and that's what I, I'm happy. I can get you to go viral I, I, no, today. No, no, I'm want, happy. Want me to do I'm, it? I'm happy you said that. And I, I want to tell you why. Because <laughs> you have to deal with the fact that my engagement is high and oh, I don't need the go. youth. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want me to say it. Hey, can I ask a question? My engagement is high and I don't All need right, the youth. We got it. Yeah, we got it. exactly. Can I ask a question? You don't want can, can you have high engagement and still not be viral? Is that yes, you can. All right, so I think the conversation was viral. Viral consists of VEC, views, engagement, and context. The context of which I went viral look crazy, nigga, but congratulations. You try to make my man look crazy and you went viral. That nigga just freestyled some acronyms. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 I thought he was spelling it out. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Flip, you just haven't gone viral. It's cool. I, I don't haven't even, went viral. I don't even with, care about it, so we we'll have to spend this much time. I do it by mistake. You saw the WWE Sweet. shit? I, remember the I WWE shit? See yeah, none exactly. of that shit exactly. you're talking not, about. It's not on your shit, right? Listen, when when I look at trending and see Queens flip, true, then score one for you. <laughs> I can do it for you today. I don't want you to do it for me. I'm gonna help you today. I don't. We out of here today. <laughs> no, that's what you want. <laughs> we out of here today. Nah, I'm good. I got a whole plot in my nah, head. Nah, I'm all right. Come on, we can't you let 21 do, Savage yeah. and them outdo us. Come you on, grab, do. grab the cards. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't let them outdo us. Uh, what's up? How's everybody feeling? How y'all doing? Feeling great. I'm, nice. a little, I'm a little. I'm a little. Eh. So you guys will power through. I'm here with you guys in spirit. I love y'all. You got the back to back COVIDs. They got the back-to-back sickness, nigga. Go knock that shit. Get some Buckleys, yo. Yeah, because I can't go. Oh, let me not even do it. Yeah, I'm just sick. I'm just sick. <laughs> That's what I got to get, yo. What, what, Buckley? Some Buck. I'm okay. going to order that shit from Canada, dog. On Amazon. Got to get Buckley. I done had this call for about three months. This no, shit is annoying. Long, no, it's been way long, 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 A lot longer than three months. <laughs> it's been a lot longer than three months. Yeah, yeah, it's been a lot longer than three months. Thanksgiving was three months. I don't even think Buckley's will fix that. It's been longer than six months. Oh, (laughs) shit. We can double the time he said. It's longer than that. Respiratory illness. Whoa. (laughs) Don't say that to him. I'm sorry. It's a long time. He's emphysema, yo. This guy is crazy. (laughs) (laughs) That fucked up. Oh, that's oh, crazy oh. right here, son. Oh. Did you just make a pig noise? <laughs> you making fun of her? <laughs> she told him, I don't think Buckley's can fix your cold. You have a respiratory infection, right? I mean, it might be. It's been here So he a got really upset and made a, mocked her laugh. And every time he get upset, she mute up and cower. Oh. Start melting in the couch. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, well, she puddles for you then, huh? Ooh. Is that what you think? Hey, you know, you're trying to fight over another girl. Yo, yo, that's you, son. Another girl. I want to fight over the girl. Another girl. Me, I did I'm telling you, Tuesday. You are nuts, yo. Tuesday, I'm on your ass. You are crazy. I don't bro. have the energy today. This guy is insane. Yeah. Bro. It's me. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah, it's you. I know. You're the only one storing names. Storing names. Mm. Mm. Oh, yo, mm. yo, do you hear this guy? <laughs> you the only one storing names hey, yo, from 20 years ago to bring them up. I'm on your ass next week. different type of th- brain, I'm going to get you next week. I don't, want, I don't want no smoke. Uh, where y'all want to start? Where do y'all want to start? Where do y'all want to begin? I don't know how much is going on. I don't know how much music dropped. Not much. Not much. Yeah, Pretty quiet. It, it wasn't much. Pretty quiet. Yeah. bed under a blanket. How long have you been sick first? Like A few days. Right. A few days. Not too much. All right. It's not the vid. All right, all right. It's not the vid. I wouldn't have came in if it was the vid. And I got my backs. That doesn't matter. Huh? That, does, that doesn't matter. The fact doesn't the matter. does not stop you from getting it. That three-year-old shit, too. That shit, that shit, that shit, that shit watered down. down. Right. That shit ain't got no potency no more. That worn the fuck off. You didn't wash, it, you didn't wash yeah. the system up with all that bullshit? Nigga, get out of here. I got the vac and I got the booster. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hot yeah. chair, all yeah, of it. That's the vac refill. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Just top it off a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck y'all. <laughs> uh, what do y'all want to start? Grammy weekend. Universal mm-hmm. versus TikTok, anywhere y'all want to go, I'm cool. Well, yeah, we could start there because I came in and Flip was playing Money Long, uh, the song that everybody loves. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Nobody me crying like. I thought his wife left him or something. I thought he was going through something because I, don't, <laughs> yes. I ain't used to seeing niggas just sitting in a chair early. It was on repeat too. I was and he was looking sad in his phone. No, no. 
Yeah, right. flip you. Right. You I'm great. Yeah, I'm you, sure? you know, think about. You know, he's not gonna tell us if he fucked up. Last time he said that's yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. We just, we're here for you. Just think about we content. Are here for you, though. No, that was a content move. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you listening really, you, to the song. Listen to the song coming up with an idea. Yeah, to go viral. <laughs> stressing, <laughs> stressing, trying to go viral. No, no, no. <laughs> God damn, my you boy, can't even my use boy is under TikTok. pressure. You can't, you can't, you can't yeah. even use it on TikTok. No yeah, more. I heard. It's I a heard dub. It. Damn, it's a dub for you. Your whole shit up. So your whole plan up. I don't use TikTok. The Universal TikTok negotiations fell flat to the floor, and Universal mm-hmm. snatched all of their music from TikTok. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot of music. It is There's a lot yeah. of music. That's a lot of music. It's yeah. a lot. I'm not going to run it all down. Probably about a third. Third yeah. of the uh, most of the music in the world. In the world, probably yeah. in their entire catalog. Yeah, because maybe you, more. Because Universal is everybody. They're the biggest. Yeah, it's Def Jam. It's Interscope. It's Geffen. It's Capital. It's Republic. It's, it's really? everybody. It's too many people. Yeah. So they oh, snatched all of the music. Uh, TikTok. TikTok responded and said some shit. Let me pull all this stuff up because I just sound like. So, know. so in them snatching the music, it's basically going to kill half of the TikTok market where they be doing the little dances and all that other stuff. I yeah. mean, in essence, like what theory, you're theoretically, but yeah. there's also a lot more music out there. But this is a major. A third. Yeah. You know what I'm it's saying? It's a lot. That's nuts. So you, you who does it hurt more? Um, the artists. It hurts the content creators. No, I'm talking about out of. TikTok, TikTok versus Universal, because Universal. Universal, I mean that they was paying over there to get their songs to kind of pop too. They were. Hmm. I think it hurts TikTok more. You think so? Yeah, because if if, if I mean it, I, I see not- the I see the benefit that it has for Universal. Mm-hmm. Because you can have a song that's dormant, and then somebody comes out with a little jingle. Now it goes crazy on TikTok. Now people are gonna go stream it more. Mm-hmm. So that helps Universal. Them niggas be making voiceovers to fake beats and it goes viral on TikTok. Yeah. What I'm saying is that I feel like it hurts the artists more, in my opinion. Yeah, but that's not universal. Well, in theory it is, because if universal makes more money than the artists make more money. Exactly. True. Mm-hmm. So in theory... You mean if the artist makes more money than universal, universal makes more money? Well, yeah. Either way, gotcha. however you want to look gotcha. at it. In this mm-hmm. scenario, I think universal comes first. Um, All right, I have, the, the, I have TikTok's statement in response to Universal pulling the music. Go ahead. Uh, And this says, it is sad and disappointing that Universal Music Group has put their own greed above the interest of their artists and songwriters. Despite Universal's narrative, false narrative and rhetoric, the fact is they have chosen to walk away from the powerful support of a platform with well over a billion users that serves as a free promotional and discovery vehicle for their talent. TikTok has been able to reach artist first agreements with every art with every other label and publisher. Clearly, Universal self serving actions are not in the best interest of artists, songwriters, and fans. Mm. I don't know if I agree. Artists first. It's tough. Agreement. It's 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 really a tough thing to. Uh... Universal's. I'm sorry, Barks. Go ahead. Now, Universal's three points of contention were one, artist compensation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh. To the platform's handling of AI mm-hmm. and how that mm. relates to... That's what a lot of people are using <clears throat> and mm-hmm. he fights about right now. And the third one was... Online safety for hate, TikTok's yeah, users. Hate speech. Yeah. Uh, they didn't feel that TikTok did enough to combat hateful speech and videos and so mm-hmm. forth and so on. Man, uh, I don't know if I believe that. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, like I don't agree with that me. one. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, sounds like bullshit. Unless you're using my song in your hateful video, yeah, which I'm sure people are to some degree, but it, 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 it puts a negative light on it. Yeah, but then you, again, they care about numbers. I'm about to say, does Universal really give a fuck about that when they'll stand behind yes. some kids that's doing videos yes. on cemeteries? They yes, they do. And it's their it's their call what to clear and what not to clear. True. I mean, it's definitely they call, but I don't think they have a genuine concern about hate speech. Well, it could be argued that they don't have a, gen- a genuine concern about artist compensation. True. Either. I, I was going to say that, yeah. too, but number three is definitely a no-no, in my opinion. Number one is, eh, yeah, sounds good. I do think that there's a, a, a big dis- uh, disconnect and divide between the music industry and, and social media. Because like a lot of these platforms, you can't even really properly like play music because it'll get flagged and taken mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. True, mm-hmm. something needs to be worked out. 
the social media companies are making billions and trillions of fucking dollars collectively. And none of that music is really getting back to artists. But to TikTok's point, it is good promotion for the artists. So yeah. it's kind of, it's, it's a weird space. It's a funny it's thing. Like for it's, the look, real- it's some for the look bullshit from mm-hmm. TikTok. But fuck, fuck that look. Yeah, I, f- I kind of agree, but for, but, for, but, for, but, like but for the art, but for the artists, there should be royalties. There should be it should, should be, be some yeah. type of everyone should be able to make some of this money, yo. Like, what are yeah. we talking about? I, I see it from both perspectives, but there is a royalty. It's just not to the artists. If Universal mm-hmm. has a deal with TikTok, the way that they have a deal with YouTube, the way that they have a deal with Spotify and Apple or whoever they have it with, mm-hmm. then there is a royalty paid out. It's just not paid directly to artists. Right, it's paid to Universal. So the so the artist compensation piece is. That's Essen- on Universal. Essentially no. some bullshit. It is. And that's on Universal Debatable. to yeah. then compensate their artists, not TikTok. Well, in order to pay the artists, they would have to make money too, mm-hmm. which they mm-hmm. are, but it's... They ain't going to lose their no, cut. I'm, I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to lose... It's the same thing. We're not going to take an L. We're not going to take the L here. It's, just, it's your argument about Wal- Wal- Walmart changing price, gotcha, uh, paying gotcha. employees more. Gotcha. Like, we're gotcha. not going to take the L over here. So, y'all are going to give us a bigger split over here. Mm-hmm. And then we'll we'll bust that down with the artist. Gotcha. Our number not changing. Gotcha. Yeah. They're, they they, they got to figure that shit out though. Like it's annoying. Even as a as a creator, as someone who makes music and works with people that makes music, putting stuff on social media and it gets flagged and something that you own happens frequently. Yes, mm-hmm. it and does. it's fucking frustrating. It is. And that other part about hate speech, I ain't really buying that because all these uh, services care about our subscriber numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good portion of them that are spewing hate speech. So if we lose all of that, we're going to lose a big portion of subscribers. So and all we care about is numbers. So I, I don't believe that either. And the respective artists are really spewing hate speech. When you start talking about shooting your ops and all that other shit, that's hate speech. Yeah, I can be construed that yeah, way. Yeah, but hate speech is for people that are not putting it in songs. They're not. They're not categorizing the music. Music. That's as, art. That's probably that's considered art. art. Artistic expression. Yeah. 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 So the hate speech is little Billy in yeah. Wichita. Gotcha. Who's bugging? I don't want to say. <laughs> yeah. 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 We little Billy it. be bugging. <laughs> that nigga. What, what's that little? That little boy name? Who? The little. I think his name Billy. <laughs> the one that they be having in the memes that be wilding. Little Billy out there going crazy. In uh, Arkansas. All right, so I'm going to read all of these labels that are attached to this, and boy, there are a lot of them. I looked mm-hmm. it up, and according to a wiki page, they are a quarter of the music business, essentially. It uh, looks like way more than that. Yeah, it looks like way more than that. I went on Universal's page directly. Yeah. yeah. And just, it's, it's a Capital, lot, you know? Def Jam, whoever they are, EMI, Geffen, Island, Republic, UME, uh, Universal, Universal, Verve, Virgin. Uh, Once you get into them subsidiaries, American though? Aftermath. Yeah, there's just a bunch here. Yeah, Young Motown's money. over there. Uh, TDE, I Cap- believe, is over there. Capital Cash Dreamville. Money, Dreamville, Young Money, Young Money, Cash Money, all of the money. <laughs> yeah, they got all of it. Imperial and Grooves. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hey. They yeah. tricked us. They did. They did. Universal has in grooves. Yeah. Island, Lava, LVRN, they just M- MCA, MCA, MCA Nashville, Mercury, Motown. All right. Everybody. Polygram, QC, everybody, Priority. It's everybody. Mm-hmm. It's everybody. They have everybody. Oh, I'm going to read y'all. You want to read this mail? Because I sound me? like shit. I got you. Read right there, that paragraph. Okay. Right there, and at, a little bit after. Okay. You need your old lady reading? No, I don't need that. <laughs> the <laughs> the it, 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 increase the font a little bit. Increase the font, yo. I'm looking at you doing the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. not. I'm I'm let me just, get a girl. I'm just... Oh, I'm, I'm clarifying... You got to slide that font slider up. Yeah. Let us get bigger. I am clarifying which paragraph My brightness is up, too. Said. No, turn the phone yeah, sideways. I got it, girl. She's full screen. I give me... She needs the big, bold letters. Give me the goddamn shit. I got it, girl. I got it. You sure? Yes. She wants to prove something now. Starting right here? Yes, please. Okay. Hold it back further. Yeah, exactly. The terms of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All y'all suck a dick and shut the fuck up, okay? (laughs) Here we go. Here we goddamn go. Okay. The terms of our relationship with TikTok are set by the contract, which expires January 31st, 2024. In our contract renewal discussions, we have been pressing them on these three critical issues. Appropriate compensation for our artists and songwriters, protecting human artists from the harmful effects of AI, and online safety for TikTok's users. And that was Universal's three main points. Okay. 
We've been working to address these and related issues with our other platform partners. For example, our artist-centric initiative is designed to update streaming's uh, remun... Shit. (laughs) Word is fucking me up. Remuneration. Is I still saying Remuneration. Thank you. Remuneration. Thank you. Thank you. Because I want to put the N before the M. Model and better reward artists for the value that they deliver to platforms. In the months since the inception, we're proud that this initiative has been received so positively and taken up by a range of partners, including the largest music group in the, pla- in the platform in the world. We've also moved aggressively to embrace the promise of AI while fighting to ensure right, artists. Like they all right, that's yeah. Them. Yeah. All I should say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that's vague enough. nonsense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like talking in circles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're so. doing their publicist thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Tell me why they left. We ain't agree on a bag. That's it. That's Peace it. out. I like it though. I like that move. I saw your face y'all, when you were, y'all, y'all when you were know, talking about it. I y'all saw know it. I love the the boycott. Mm-hmm. Everybody stop. Disrupt. And we not we not getting to it. I'll pull my shit. I was around when they when they had this same conversation with YouTube, but YouTube is YouTube. So of course you're gonna eventually come to something. <laughs> YouTube was too big, too powerful for too long. They feel like TikTok is the new kid on the block. Yeah, but and TikTok y'all have got a built, lot of power on the block, though. And they, yeah, but they feel like we gave it to you. That they feel true. like we gave it to you. <laughs> Universal feel like nobody's powerful if we don't license our music to y'all. That's, That's true. how they That's feel. True. Mm-hmm. And they have a point. So we watched y'all grow your entire business. We watched y'all fight with the government over the Chinese laws and mm-hmm. so forth and mm-hmm. so on. And y'all don't want to pay us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all are making what y'all are making now. Y'all don't want to pay us. Right. Same, no. th- same thing the artists say to them. Well, yeah, yeah but the artists also sign. That's true. So they, they, they I, I can't, they I can't, I can't, I can't keep true. fighting for the people that don't want to fight. I encourage the artists. All we got to do is look at what the big dogs do. What, what Universal is doing... If you are able to do that, pull that shit for a week. Mm-hmm. Pull that shit for a month. Just see. Find an alternative route. This ain't about to stop Universal at all. No. 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 It's not. And that's it's, what I said. Now, their artists might be a little upset I was about, about to ask, like, how, like, the conglomerate makes this, you know, this big decision, but how many artists are, you know, feel like this decision was made without really them in mind, oh, like, in terms and, of... And they don't have to. Yeah. I get that. I know. I'm, yeah. I'm, I think I, so Money Long is upset. Yeah. For so for yeah. the for Money an artist, Long is upset. I was gonna say for an artist like Drake or Justin Bieber or you know Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift. Who, who the fuck cares? Because yeah. really, J-I-D-A honestly, it doesn't affect them. But yeah, for like a smaller artist that you know came into the public view by way of streaming and stuff like that, the unknown artist that you know kind of hit the lick on TikTok, this is this is devastating. If a nigga came up with with a with a dance to or or a, some young ladies did something to put it down, right? And it just t- pick back up. I'm sure you would get some compensation or some level of compensation for that. So it could be a B-side song for an artist that might need the money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. now somebody did some little funny dance or did some little performative thing, and now that song is starting to shoot back up yeah. because they're streaming it and all that other stuff. Uh-huh. I think that and is, is a financial Bro, we windfall. Saw, we, we literally saw that happen with Chris Brown's Under the Influence. That record was four years old on a deluxe side of the album that mm-hmm. just fell by the I'm gonna say fell by the wayside, but mm-hmm. it didn't do it, it didn't do any type of charting. TikTok, it just out of nowhere blew up over there. Mm-hmm. He didn't even know. Next thing you know, it's on Billboard. Next thing you know, he went and shot a video for it, incorporating it in his tours. Now it's a hit record of his four years later. I, there are plenty of perks. Plenty of perks. I'm sure artists can tour when their song is successful yeah. mm-hmm. on yeah. mm-hmm. TikTok. Absolutely. Shows, bookings, all that kind of stuff just go, your, your demand go up because again, TikTok is, I don't know how many billion users a lot. worldwide. It's powerful. It is. It's powerful. But if the splits aren't right, the splits aren't right. Like, yeah, it, sure, maybe it blows some shit up, but if I'm getting pennies on the dollar for that blow up, but I'm getting fix it. pennies on the dollar anyway on anything. But none of that is right. <laughs> but but listen, right. You so now it. the label is the one saying, hey, man, the only people that can rob our artists is us. Exactly. Y'all can't rob our artists. What's wrong with it's y'all? No, the give, me, them, give yeah, me all this no, shit y'all, back. Y'all can't rob us. It's, yeah. To Joe's point, yo, TikTok and the cultural thing that it's become mm-hmm. is, as a result, large in part, or a nice piece, due to our music and our catalog. Right. Mm-hmm. Now you got to pay me. I let you rock for a long time. Now I think I deserve this. So, you got to pay. Me. Here's a question that um, that I have that I was wondering about this. If an artist say like they own their catalog, uh-huh. mm-hmm. can are they considered like independent? Like fuck that, I I can keep my catalog of music on TikTok. Yes. If you own your catalog and you can yeah. do what you want. 
Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Put, put it where you want. I mean, that's yeah. that's going back to your um, one of the positives of this for independent artists. This gives them an option to yeah. fill that void for the the time being until mm-hmm. they figure this like, out. I feel like the artist is mad, and they're going to continue to be mad because they know, like you said, Universal or whatever company, they're not really getting what they're supposed to get. Mm-hmm. And then now we have a, a way to get more popular or tour, and you guys are taking that from us as well. True. So the artist is going to be upset, and I understand them. I understand the artist. That Money Long song was taking off. That shit was going. It's like the J.I.D. record. Well, yeah. that took off. Yeah. Took, but I'm just saying, I, I'm, I would be pissed. Yeah. It took off, but my shit is still booming over there. Right. And now, gone. If I was an artist, I'd be pissed. Of course. Mm-hmm. But I would support it, though. <laughs> I'd be pissed. You would. So you'd be I'd be it. pissed, but I would support it. Because I would be pissed to my label. That has nothing to do with TikTok. I support what you did with TikTok. But now you as the label, we got to go have a conversation. We had got yep. What's today? Wednesday? <laughs> I'd be in there Thursday morning in the corner office. We got to have a conversation. No, knowing, knowing you would be tight? So let's say you are a lower to mid-level artist. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Like, and one I'm of still your in songs money-long mode. You might go get five, ten grand... For, from mm-hmm. a show uh-huh. for that song that just took off again. If I'm money long, I'm uh, walking in the corner office <laughs> to have a conversation. A real Facts. conversation. Facts. Facts. A real because conversation. she's right. Like the label is always going to tell the artist, yo, go get hot. Before we invest anything mm-hmm. in you, go get it popping. So if she get it shaken on TikTok, I mean, I think she's gotten it shaken enough for them to see that and to invest some money. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got to have a talk. Now, the future artists that we haven't seen what your song has done on TikTok, yeah, that, that's going to be a struggle. Mm, true. That's going to be a struggle. But again, they're looking at TikTok like a tool. To them, there'll always be a new tool. Mm-hmm. Always. That's true. That's true. I it's tough, that. though. That's a lot of music. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of music lot. to come on. They got to get it right. That's crazy. They got to get it right. Super dry. It's and nice. to your point about the independent artists, like, you think they even know how to get it up there on TikTok to where it can blow up or something like that? Of course. Because again, that's all. A lot of stuff was paid promo, deals behind the scenes, mm-hmm. yo, get this hot, get that hot. Mm-hmm. The independent artists might not even have that connect. The whole world is different if black people own black music and could do this very move mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. all of the all of the joints. Whole world is different. Sure. Agreed. I, I, love, I lo- love the move. I love the move. I do. And I want to see what's to come of it. I would like to see it venture into all the social media bag platforms. Is gonna be, the bag is going to be dropped. They got to. I don't that's think the, they have a choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying you said I'd like to see what comes of it. I, I think yeah. that's the only... Yeah, but how Revolution. long they hold out in this moment tells me how big they think they balls are. That's mm-hmm. true. Man. I want to see how long it takes to cave. You think TikTok's going to cave first? I think TikTok yes. is China. I think they could be on some bullshit if they want and try to drag this out. Because I don't think, do you think that this is going to affect the, the, like, how many people use, I don't think it's going to affect how many people use it, Mm-mm, use no. the it, app. I don't think it's going to stop the from. I don't think so. It no, might have, a small, so. It might have so. a small effect. It might have a small effect. I think it would be, like, minuscule in I the grand scheme of things. I don't. I don't think so at all. I don't. I don't see it that way. Too many of y'all little dancey tune videos come from one of these songs. Mm-hmm. Or even just having it as background music in the content yeah. for whatever reason. And like, that generates too much money. But there's more music yeah. out there, like you said earlier. But so yeah, they, I think they'll, 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 they'll circumvent well, it. Well, they got most of it. They got most of it. They'll take the hot shit. They got the hot shit. They got the hot shit. They got most of it. We got, listen, you, they, that's how they move. They move like the biggest dick on the block. Yeah. Pause. We got everybody. All your favorites, we got them. Nothing you can do about it. Ain't no other name in... Pop culture, music, all hotter than Taylor Swift right now. All her music is gone. Super Bowl coming up, all the press. This is just more reason yeah. that they can lean on them to cave. And the part, hey, dog, y'all need this. And Dre. the part that you're missing is, if it get too thick, all Universal gonna do is call Sony <laughs> and call. They already worked out their deals. Call Warner. Huh? No, 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 no. They said they worked out the deals with the other people. Oh, okay. Yeah, they said everybody else already party. Yeah, got it. And Universal. There's only what two other people in it. Three, yeah. two or two. three, right? Two more. Sony yeah, more. Yeah. Warner. So, yeah. mm-hmm. Look at this grown people business. <laughs> this big. Business. Yo, this yeah. this the other. Yeah, this, this trillionaire business. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this, this zero. This zero. is above my pay grade. Yeah. Way, way Stinking above. Niggas. I gotta wait till this trickles down to ground level. <laughs> <laughs> before, I'm, 
before I really know what's going on. Yeah, go ahead and let Lucian and them do what they're doing. Damn. You know what I mean? Oh, they on the phone. Good. Believe that. I got TikTok folded. I got TikTok folded I, I, quick. I, I agree. I don't know how quick. I think they'll, I think they'll what's try. What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. I got TikTok folded in the next week. Really? Yes. This will be resolved quick. Nah. I it's take, Friday. It's I, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> We said that with confidence. Yeah, y'all harmonized. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> it's Saturday. I don't know what fucking day it's it is. I never know what day it is. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's like Groundhog Day, right? Pitbull mm. Day. <laughs> Stop. That's ours now. Wait, so what's the like um, routine? For Just the walk day? out, walk your pitbull out there, and if he sees shadow and start barking, then we we know we got all right. We cool. Or if he, he, he just don't he chases do someone's neighbor or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Beach, if he chases Miss Kathy, we got six more weeks of weather. Yeah, that'd be good. Go. All right, it's Grammy weekend. It sure is. is. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing all the parties. I'm getting all the DMs and phone calls. Yo, you out here? No, <laughs> nigga, leave me alone. But congratulations to everybody that was nominated. Everybody sure. in LA right now. Shout out to those of y'all going from LA to Vegas next week. Fun week planned. Oh that's a, yeah. yeah, that's a yeah. fun it's little a nice, week nice they got. It's expensive week. Very expensive. <laughs> I didn't even think about the people that. we talking about. They got, they, yeah, 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 that ain't nothing. You're right. You're right. You're right. Dropping they, the they got it. Oh yeah, quick road trip too with joints in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Both guys. October. Wah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some babies coming out in October, dog. I'm telling you, there's some, there's some shit going on. L.A. to Vegas with all the rich. Yeah. It's going down. I yeah. thought about going to Vegas. Yeah, I know. Actually. I was about to say, stay your little hot ass. I'm not going now. I'm not. You going? No. No. Nope. 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 Mm. That's why I think it'd be giving Pillow Princess for you. Why? Because <laughs> you don't be nowhere hot. Listen, I. That's in four. Let me tell you something. I have here, done, done, that, done Super that. Bowl like a million times over. All Star Weekend. I've covered it. I've been there. No, I am, and especially in Vegas. Fuck no. There you go. That shit beneath you. That is, that, That's not it's be- a fucking oh, nightmare. It is beneath her. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, say, necessarily, say I wouldn't necessarily say that. It's just like. I'm going to say it for you. Been there, done that. Got yeah. the fucking t-shirt. You had a fun already. That, yeah. Okay, That's listen. That's my point. <laughs> Calm, fuck settle, settle down. <laughs> down. <laughs> settle down. Yo, why you be attacking me, bro? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. How am I attacking you? Stop attacking me. I was. How am I I'll attacking you? you. I'm saying. Me. I'm saying. Slow down. Yeah, slow don't, down. Don't, don't. I'm not Imani. Insinuating. Oh. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. I'm not ish. Okay. Yo, dog. Okay. My I don't. My name don't gotta come be up. Be on her shit with me, man. All right. Anyway, I think. It's, anyway, I, I think Anyways. it's. Sizzle, I think it's Sizzle's weekend. She's gonna clean up. She's the most nominated. She had the biggest album last year. She's gonna clean up. She's nominated for album of the year. I think she's mm-hmm. nine nominations or something like that. She's cleaning up. And I hope she win them all. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. So, um, Terror, uh, Terror Squad in there, though. T.S. Ah. Uh, eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean, you guys? Taylor, Taylor, Swift. Taylor, Swift. Taylor Swift. Okay. Yeah. Taylor Swift. She, she, she's nominated. Yeah. Album of the year is um, Janelle Monae, The Age of Pleasure, John Baptiste, um, Lana Del Rey, Tunnel Under, Ocean Boulevard. Sometimes I discover artists just simply by the nominations. I'm like, Good who Lana Del Rey? No, I know who she is, but Tunnel Under. album is hard. Yeah. No. I didn't listen to this album. It's fire. Yeah? Yeah. I love her. Uh, Miley Cyrus, Olivia Rodrigo, um, SZA, and Taylor Swift. These are all Ooh, album Swift of the year. Taylor pressure. It's a nice little fail one. Mm-hmm. SZA, yeah. SZA yeah. should get that, though. Uh, hopefully. But, sheesh. Hopefully. She, yeah, Taylor's going to get that, I think. Taylor's going to get yeah. that. They going to roll yeah. that. They rolling all of that. Yeah. NFL look, got y'all brainwashed. Look, 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 Listen look. to y'all every second. Oh, Taylor Swift. Oh, can she make it back from Japan in time? Oh, <laughs> oh Taylor Swift. T.S. Terror uh, Squad. Uh, Yo, y'all shut the fuck up. It's Black History Month. <laughs> what are y'all talking about? I'm rooting for SZA. No, no, she already, yeah, that Taylor yo, she already took no the swag yeah, surf. She about to come take the Grammys from you niggas. Hey, yo, fam. Do you know I wasn't swag surfing anyway. I'm cool. Don't do it no more. You know how big of a marketing thing that would be for her to win the album of the year, then the roll her little Super white Bowl. ass oh right to God, the Super Bowl gross. and be the so booth. annoying. Ish, how think? can we celebrate Black History Month with you? Like, <laughs> why do you keep trying to bring us back I to white? I excellent? want SZA to win. The, I'm saying, but the powers that be out here trying to make some money, you can see just the, look can see the, the, the players right there. Yeah. What are you talking about? This. We are definitely we are. championing we scissor. Scissor. What I'm saying is I could see Taylor Swift eating a Dorito like that <laughs> with a Grammy. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about, fam? <laughs> 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 what are we 
talking about, yo? I hope Taylor Swift don't win shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I hope SZA wins, man. Yeah, I hope SZA wins. I, I, I really do. How about that Honestly Black speaking, I could even rock with Janelle. Like, I don't. Either one of them. She's not going to. No. Yeah, yeah, Respectfully. Yeah, I'm just saying. Salute, but. Not enough titties I in the world. I hope, I hope SZA wins, yo. <laughs> ain't no nipples. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, you put them titties right on up, man. This ain't the weekend for that one. I mean, he can. Yeah. Or leave them out. You can leave them out, but, but SZA going to I'm win. just saying, it ain't going to help you here. Exactly. Yeah, That's yeah, all yeah. I mean. I agree. Very nice titties. No, they ain't nice titties, man. I think SZA's performing. Very nice. She's performing? I believe so. Oh, uh, yeah. I got the little list here. SZA, Joni Mitchell, U2, Billie Eilish, Billy Joel, the Billies, Burna Boy, Dua Lipa, Luke Combs, Olivia Rodrigo, and Travis Scott. SZA. That's it? It's a weird lineup. <laughs> That's it for Black History Mom? Yeah. <laughs> Trevor Noah's hosting. Hey, that's great. It's a great also. Um, best new artist is Coco Jones, Gracie Abrams, Fred again, Ice Spice, Jelly Roll, Noah um, Kahan, Khan, no, Khan. Nah. Victoria Monet, and The War and Treaty. Salute. The Grammys comes on when? Sunday. 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 Yeah. After the Pro Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I hope none of y'all out there getting robbed, getting stripped of your belongings, your well, clothes. Yeah, be you know, careful. Grammy weekend can be. I say it every year. <laughs> Please be careful. Don't go to the same fucking corner store that your op is going to. Like, you know what's going to happen. Be Pray, care- prayers be- for all the guys that are standing out in front of the parties that they can't get into. Yes. Yeah, be careful mm-hmm. at Bossa Nova. <laughs> it's a, your Bossa Nova is a, <laughs> a hot little spot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, there's a couple of locations, so, you know, spread it out. No, the, 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 the boys outside of all of them now. I know y'all think y'all safe in that new pretty one up the street. <laughs> they that, new, that new pretty one they, with they, the nice lights and they shit. Got, they got that one, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They outside of them shit, so please be careful. And yeah. Boston, though, is so good on a late mm-hmm, night. Mm-hmm. I do need a L.A. trip. I need a trip somewhere. Boston, though, is so good. I need a trip It's Brazilian food. Gloom a little bit. No. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, t- I'm telling you, it's a Brazilian restaurant. They got a couple of locations, but, like, the... One is on Sunset. That's I where got everyone, trip. and it's open so it, late, mm. like four and five that's in the morning. Cool. That's where the hitters be. Yeah, wait, yeah. right yeah. around that time. The that's where the yeah, like they, be. they be sitting there. Oh, these <laughs> niggas pulling up now. Yeah. Don't wait till them the niggas is out there. Like he want lasagna now <laughs> <laughs> at this time. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Tap it, man. Like oh, yo, yo, look, yo, get his noodle. I was on. Hey, yo, what? Run that. Uh, there's no freak. Rock Nation brunch this year. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, I mean, there's Fuck. probably a lot of people very disappointed about that. Sorry, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to make your own eggs. <laughs> you don't get no food anyway. You have to make your own French toast, buddy. Oh, <laughs> what are we going to do with all these pastel tuxedos? I don't know. <laughs> oh, said I'm tired of y'all. I never thought y'all was getting the Rock Nation brunch. Why? Yeah, well, well different this year. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Listen he, to this one. He be having inside sources, <laughs> this, this man. fucking guy, he don't put me in the best position to win. <laughs> Why? Because uh, Hove just seems busy with other projects. Uh, Super Bowl's <laughs> coming up. I think that's one of them. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, he's not the organizer. He's got says, a whole... Says you. Say, he might be playing <laughs> I mean, Says you. Usher was on Club Shay Shay and said, Jay-Z called me very early in the morning, 6 o'clock. And told he didn't sure. say a time. He said very early. And said it's time. That sounds like the organizer. What was that super group that he said they was going to make? Uh, him, Pharrell, Usher, right? Pharrell, Puff, and Hove. I don't know how that would have worked. I think the new shit now, <laughs> niggas is going up to Club Shay Lying. Shay and lying. just lying. Just trying to get some fodder. <laughs> yeah, they just pulling out all of their Fat Joe stories. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. I'm going to get a moment out of here yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Let me just say that. Mm-hmm. Cat, cat, don't set the stage. Yeah. yeah. Everybody want to go viral. Everybody don't. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Everybody don't want to go viral. Right? My bad, yeah, bro. I'm engagement. Bro. Engagement. Engagement. Thank you. Vic. Engagement. Everybody needs to just get out Shannon Way. They got them bad niggas. See, they bugging now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usher and I, though. <laughs> what, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Uh, shout out to Shannon Club Shay Shay. That was a good interview. I don't care about that group, though. I don't believe that for one I don't Neither do I. That was neither. a song. Neither do I. That <laughs> was a song. If that was that, a song. If that. If that. What the fuck you talking about? It might have been a song. Puffing there like, yo, put a symbol over here. Put the snare there. Pharrell, look at that nigga like, hey, I key. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I ain't never been a hit man. Like, get your ass out of here. Wait, hold up. You think that if Pharrell, you think Don't if start. Pharrell. I'm asking you. Don't that. start. Go ahead. You think that if Pharrell's doing a beat, that Puff should have no say and nothing on the beat? 
if he's in a session? I think that... Or you think Pharrell would just tell him, nigga, get the fuck out of my face? <laughs> I mean, I think if he lends... Puff has an amazing ear. Mm. So I think that if he lend his expertise, it may be received. But 50-50, it might not. Or oh, just, I heard you. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Word, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Snail your ass. He has an amazing ear. Puff. Yeah. Yeah, he does. And probably made some <laughs> night vision goggles. <laughs> <laughs> What? Just got to <laughs> Slaps knee. Anyway. Hey, that's your shit. <laughs> Yo, what y'all think about, um, well, are we done with Grammy week? Yeah, I guess we'll, you know, so, we're done until it come on. Yeah. <laughs> um, a list came out. It was oh, a, go B-Dot. <laughs> <laughs> might as well be. Um, it was a TDE list. It was. It, it appeared to be like confidential. But somebody the leaked it. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Yo, it's, y'all are yelling these TDE I, tricks. I, man, I laughed at <laughs> yeah, this. Y'all I don't believe this for stuff. a second. Come on, let me hear. But it, it's their release slate for all of 2024. Mm-hmm. We know how TDE do. Sure. So it's it's everybody. Uh, Schoolboy Q. I think Schoolboy is happening. We've seen a trailer. Well, He's actually active on Twitter. Uh, right yeah. after this list came out, we got that. Yeah. Well, Schoolboy, I, I did believe to be happening. No, I'm, I'm he's up. To, he's on deck. It should have been happening, but again, the list is Schoolboy Q, Sir J Rock, Dochi, Rayvon. I believe all those. Yeah, I don't believe all of these people are dropping a project this year. I don't believe that at all. Well, What's who else? interesting? To, who else on um, the list? <laughs> okay, uh, Rayvon, Zakari, SZA, Absol, Isaiah Rashad, Carl Banks, Devin Miller, Lance Skywalker. There's three names that are redacted. It says new artist, and then it says TDE compilation. Oh, I, well, I can believe all of this. Okay, these aren't right. these aren't like the A Super A size SZA, and she's already been. This is their whole teasing shit. Who, yeah, I can who see else that. is the super? Who else is there that's not on this list? J Rock. J Rock, I he said. Was on it. Oh, he, he was. Oh, my bad. That's what I'm saying. My this bad. Is, this is just saying everybody's dropping <laughs> this year. We've seen again. This is rollout. Yeah. Even the whole this is a confidential list that somebody took a picture of and leaked it. I can just see a good number of these coming This out. is just to get the talk going. Sir is already in motion. I'm cool. I'm open to being wrong, mm-hmm. but I'm going on the record to say all of this is not dropping this year. I got most of that coming out. I don't. I got at least half. Yeah. We've seen mm-hmm. half of it already starting to roll out. So, Just give me the J-Rock album, which I thought was coming last year. I'll be happy. Yeah, he put out a bunch of singles. Mm-hmm. Schoolboy Q is uh, March 1st, March 1st, yeah. Uh, Blue Lips is the name of the project. He put a put a uh, trailer out with it. Mm-hmm. Interested to see how that one goes. We know we want the Scissor project. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's it for me. No, I take a, uh, a zero shot for sure. Shout out to the guys. Yeah, we'll see. You got it. We'll see though. We'll see. Um, all right, y'all want to get to the shits? <laughs> Always. <laughs> What's it's the black. Shits? It's Black History Month. You know we can't start Black History Month off without a fight. Oh, I thought it was the news. Oh, my man. <laughs> we got to have some <laughs> ignorant shit happening. It's Black History Month. Trey Songz and... Yeah, Jacquees. yeah. Trey Songz and Jacquees. They were fighting in Dubai. In Dubai. Right? That was the funniest shit in the world to me. What? Yeah, yes, you heard See, yo, People keep playing you around in Dubai. Let's go to Dubai. We can argue all day. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you got, you got to get arrested. We can argue right here. No, we don't. Over every name that you have stored for the oh, last 20 years. <laughs> I got storage. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, nigga, you want to go viral? Go, go, let's go to Dubai and go viral. No, like, let's, let's not. not I'm, I'm with, yeah. oh. and, and maybe get arrested. No, we can argue. Talk about no, it. You no, you can't. <laughs> you sure. got locked up over there for yelling and screaming. That's what I'm. Mm. Uh, all right, well, yeah. Stay well, that's what. I want the world to know this bitch ass nigga Trey Songs is a bitch. <laughs> Period. This nigga's a bitch, bro. This nigga came in the club talking about rape. Fuck you talking about rape for a bitch ass nigga? Then you come outside the club and swing on your little brother. You's a bitch. Chris Brown the goat. You's a bitch, brother. <laughs> About a bitch? That ain't even my bitch. Oh, who that sound like? You talking about bitches that's with these niggas? <laughs> the workers? <laughs> you talking about people that came with these niggas? Uh, <laughs> hey, man. Fuck you, bitch-ass nigga. Uh, you a rapist, no. bitch. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck if you tell anybody anything about what we text you. Put the message on there, bro. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You can never come around me. Fuck you, nigga. All right. And that anyway, was Jaquise. Anyone on the say Trey Songs is banned from Atlanta? 
That's saw that as well. It. Yes. And <laughs> shortly after that, Trey Songs posted a picture of him on the yacht saying, tour dates coming to a city near you soon. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me be the first to tell Jock Weiss, Trey Songs is not banned from Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Might be stop one now. Yo, let's reroute this yeah, shit, man. We're going to start yeah. in Atlanta. We're doing hey, three nights. And if you say that again, nigga, you will be banned <laughs> from Atlanta. You have to move. What is wrong with him? Oh, man. I, I had it. Bro, what do, we, what, you, what do we take from this? Did it, does what, anybody know they, what happened? Somebody lost. Oh, well, and he put the picture that. They lost his dress. That, that three of his dreads were snatched out. He, yeah, put, he, he put a picture. Put him on the counter and took a yeah, picture. Yeah, laid him out nice and neat. Well, see, that's the, the thing. Fighting when you're four foot 11, <laughs> that could be difficult. Fighting as you're four foot 11 with dreads. <laughs> You got to do what girls do, you know, keep like a, an elastic band on your wrist, tie that little sucker up. But the, what's and the, being what, that short might short. have an advantage. You know, you could just like kind of no. juggernaut. No. Jug no. you, you, you had a fight before? <laughs> Not trying to be funny. I've, they, I've talked the, about that. When they the, chased her. Hey. The first thing what? that girls when, when do. When they did what? When they chased you. When who chased my? What What are you talking about? Get on them. Don't start shit. Get don't start them. no yeah. fucking rumors. Don't start that. Don't start no rumors on her. Go ahead. One of the first things that some girls, not all. Do is grab a handful of your hair. You gotta go where your head go. I, I get that. So the nigga four eleven. If I grab his head right here, what up? What he gonna do? That's what I was saying. I was like, he should even have with like the, a little elastic the, on that. elastic band. Yo, tie that the, hold shit up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So now me and the nigga argue with him. He go, hold on, dog. <laughs> <laughs> now while you talking, what are we talking about? Sorry, you ain't never fight. She said, no, why are you talking? I'm going to just put the hair bun in my hair. Yeah, all right. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you imagine a nigga standing across from you doing this and y'all are aggressive? I'm going to fry his ass up. I'm fine off that nigga. Why do these niggas keep fighting over the ladies? Yo, y'all good? We don't know that they fought over ladies. We don't. That's what he said. You need to draw that conclusion. You said it, man. Wait, y'all got that from what he said? Over a bitch? That's what he said. Over a bitch. You saw my little bro over a chick that be with them? See, that don't. It's tough for me to take the word of the nigga that lost the fight. How do you know he lost? Because he, he went on camera. Because his, first. Dread, his dreads are on the end table. Three <laughs> dreads. I mean, he lost, but that no. he lost, he lost nigga. He lost because he did this. Yes. Yo, this nigga here, yeah, that's, that's how, how you know he lost. He lost because one nigga, because he said, you banned from the city, and, and the another other nigga, nigga said, on the boat. I'll be there soon. Another nigga on the boat. Another nigga on the boat. Okay. He lost. Yeah, he lost. Like, yeah. You got to, you got And you, I know you lost because you called, you called yourself uh, his little brother still. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he did that too. Uh, I did didn't know he was referring well, to himself. Yeah, you swung on your <laughs> little bro. You man. hit your little brother. Uh, you swung on me. He walked in and cracked him. That's that victim. Yeah. Uh, you try. Because yeah. if Dre mm -hmm. Songs laid, laid the mitts on Jacquees, I don't think it was a lot of talk. <laughs> I would agree with that. So I don't think Jacquees really know why he got beat up. <laughs> I think he's just assuming now. He might have said it. No, he said he. You walked in and said rape. See, that don't tell me nothing. That, that's it, true. It just makes it even. That makes that's, that's, that's that makes more it fuzzy. Weird. Like it makes it even weirder. It's vague. No, it's vague. Yeah. Vague is fine. Oh, I take that. See, no, if no, I'm no. if I'm taking that, and we just guessing right now. Yeah, it okay. sound like Jacquees might have had something to say about yes that. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. I when I say it, you that was up. Keep that same energy. You said what? Bow. That don't tell me this is right. over a girl. I just don't know. I don't know that it's and over he, a girl. And then he re reiterated. But he said it. Trey, over a yeah. chick that be with them? Yeah, but... But then he said, yeah, nigga, you a rapist. See, that, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the corny shit to me. It is. That is the corny Fam, shit. Fam, jumping on your phone, period, after you just got some act right, is corny to me. How you but you know, he, got it, he, he, mm -hmm. he had to jump on his phone to him. I got to hurry up and get this out there before God, the story there, come out. Yeah. So let me and hurry up and get my version out there. Let me talk tough. Let me do all that's of this. A, that's a new mm -hmm. age it's rule absolutely that I'm some new so shit. against. Absolutely. Because sometimes when a nigga is smacking the shit out of you or, or beating on you, they don't plan on saying nothing about nothing. Yep. Like Papoose. Papoose yeah. still ain't said, ain't a, said word. a word. At all. Salute. Mm. Come from a different era, though. That's true. And here is the social media era. So I have to hurry up and get my story out first because they believe... Whoever get it out first is telling the truth. If you get mm -hmm. beat up overseas, this thing is is worse. You got beat up in Dubai, it's crazy. So I understand him going online and trying to clear it up now that you said that. 
No, I feel like overseas I mean, it might be better because yeah, because no, 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 no. No one might say that. Exactly. Domestic ass whooping. Facts. I want the overseas ass whooping. I don't, I don't want the Dubai ass whooping. I don't, want to, be, I don't want to be in Jamaica or <laughs> Dubai getting punched in the head and beat up, ragtagging for all these niggas. If I gotta get beat up, I'd rather get beat up in Dubai. Word. Nah, y'all niggas, nah, y'all niggas crazy. crazy. I'm gonna get me. Nah. Next thing you know, we both locked up exactly. in Dubai. And shit a little different over there. Here you go, being scary, scary Spice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and sorry, and, and, and my, and I don't think you can tell story, on anybody over there. It was huh? just a I don't quick think you can scrap. tell on anybody over there. And my Dubai story, it's a quick scrap. I got a couple dollars, and I'm going to get somebody to come take care of me and nurse me back to health. Oh, yeah. Always did my some yeah. horny shit. <laughs> That's you. Everything go to horny from you, sir. <laughs> You can just nurse you back to health. Why are you so horny, bro? I'm not horny at all. <laughs> you should work with Viagra. You horny ass nigga. <laughs> I'm just telling you, dog. It's cool, though. Mm. Any words of advice for Jacquees? Get off your phone. Right there. Krav Maga. Who? Huh? Krav Maga. Muay Thai. <laughs> What are we talking about? Ties. High security. Hair ties. <laughs> Do we look at Trey funny for if, if he did indeed pounce on somebody that's 4'11? No. Trey ain't the biggest dude. He's, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We got a real quick. If he was running his mouth and needed, needed yeah, I mean, a pow pow, give him a pow pow. Is he really 4'11? He's a, he's a he's short, short guy. He's short. Yeah. He's a short guy. You just got to be mindful of what you say, five, man. 5'2. Five, He's short. Yeah. Niggas in this industry, no matter what, when they see you was up for a lot, mm -hmm. would, a lot would, of niggas. Would y'all would fight somebody that's no. five two? Never. Depending on what Do we what fight. Said. On. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how tall you are. Depending on what happened, yeah. No. He he could, he would have to just go off. If a nigga five two steal off on you, you're not gonna fight him? It depends on how how much it hurt. <laughs> you know, and he got and he got good jump on you. You gonna too. let a nigga like, crack he, you he, and he just let, you. and walk away because of his height? Hit you when I'm running Superman shit. Ah! What, what happens when a nigga 5'2 punches you and you beat the shit out of him? How do you look? That you beat the shit out of a nigga that punched you? I know yeah, self-defense. We know a lot of 5'2 niggas that get busy. What are you talking about? Uh, well, if I know he get busy, then um, we could do that. But if I know I could beat... Hype you'll fight a nigga you know you could beat? I'd rather not fight somebody yeah. I know I could beat up. Yeah, but I also don't assume. I don't want to fit, true. That's true. And that don't mean you could beat up a 5'2. No, I'm nigga. not saying 5'2. I'm talking about they could be 5'2. I don't fuck nine. with them 5'2 niggas because them the niggas that shoot. Yep. Mm. That part, too. But even if I pounce on him, man, that nigga got his car. Pre player got a good parking spot. Wait right here. <laughs> he right there. Yeah, he got a right handicap. Right you already <laughs> sure. And that nigga give you the finger. Wait right here. Point start pointing at you. Hey, that nigga, that nigga right parked back. by a hydrant. He got a CDL or something that can let you park <laughs> over there. I'll be right back. I ain't playing with them short yeah, niggas. Nah, gonna... you got it, big dog, little dog. <laughs> big dog, little dog. Yeah, yeah. Have... <laughs> you got it, big short dog. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm good. I ain't fighting nobody. I don't want to fight nobody. I want fight. Yeah, yeah. I ain't. When Mel tie that hair up while they talking, that girl. Is <laughs> I don't know how you guys have never Molly seen that. You. No, she's right, but they move fast. She's right. Yeah, they not, move fast. When yeah, you know like, you're about right. to get busy, you all, like but you already are fucking tying the shit up. No, but I see. You've girl, never seen that I, before. I see, I but, seen them tying their hair up walking to the girl. But yeah. that's they what see I'm, them tying their hair up in the girl's presence. The only the only time they let that is when your homies is there and they said, "All right, hold on, let her get her shit together." But if it's off the one off, I see you. You got no time. As soon as you go crack, I wish you would. I wish you would. I'm gonna take that as disrespect. I'm talking, I'm talking that about in the moment to. where you know the shit's yep, gonna right happen. Pull when you hoodie. know, when Come you here. see her across, you're like, oh shit, and uh -oh. you start preparing. Uh -oh. Let's go, man. Feisty now. I'm just that's what I'm talking about. A tiger. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. You're the you're the tiger noise. <laughs> no, she said. That's hate. That's hate. <laughs> are we still rolling with that tiger thing for Mel? Like yes, we? we are. Yes, yes, we yep. are. We're rolling with it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Witness. It's Black History Month. That's right. I'm okay? with you. There we go. I'm with you. Okay. A little helpless little tiger. <laughs> 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 That's like a handicap tiger. <laughs> like a tiger that got mauled on by a lion or something, fighting to stay alive. <laughs> Spots falling off. Yeah. <laughs> Stripes oh, Yeah, a little decrepit I tiger. I know y'all niggas are not. That nigga was bad. That was fine. That was fine. Oh, man. That was man. Yo. Yo. The Spots Boy. falling off. It's fucked up. Um, it's that time. All right, it is my favorite time of the show. That is Prize Picks. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Prize Picks is the largest daily fantasy sports app in all the land. Really exciting and simple to play. If you're good with good with strategic skills, 
then this is the place for you to be. All you have to do is select two or more players, look at their projected stat line, and pick more or less for your chance to win up to 25 times your money. And with the demon picks, up to 100 times your money. Mm. I got to start paying attention to these other sports now. Yeah. <laughs> they got everything. They got everything. Yeah, they got everything. Yeah, everything is up there now. I'm about to be a LOL fan. I don't even know what that is, but I'm in, <laughs> I'm in <the> legends. <laughs> uh, my genius picks. I'm giving them to you again. I have Patrick Mahomes more than .5 passing yards uh, because they're doing this new thing where they do give you a gimme special, and that is the gimme. That is the special. Uh, Patrick Mahomes more than .5 passing yards. I'm going Brock Purdy less than 249.5 passing yards. And Harrison Butker for more than 1.5 field goals. Okay. Those are my Joe Budden Genius picks. Don't forget to use the code JBP. Good luck to all of you out there, and I'll see you guys next week. Mm-hmm. There you have it. Get all right, lovers and friends. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Lovers yes. and friends. The, con- the concert, the festival that everybody is saying they haven't been paid for. Somebody, <laughs> somebody tell me what's happening. Yeah, lovers and friends every year puts out their festival lineup. And Who it just is looks- lovers and friends? I Cause when I asked this years ago, niggas told me Usher, That's and, what I thought. and I think Usher came out and performed. So I was like, oh, maybe he does. But who owns this shit? Don't we don't know. know. We don't but know. No. Some TikTok nigga somewhere. But when they when <laughs> they when they announced the festival, we all came in here like, damn, this lineup is fire. The lineup Facts. was huge. The every year, lineup was crazy. Every year. Well, that's what they do every year. <laughs> no, but they ain't do it this year. They put anybody name that they wanted to put up that bitch and was like, yo, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> I don't, but I don't know that they didn't do that in the, the years That's prior. That's true. And to be honest, if you're looking at it, it's kind of genius. It's some bullshit, but it's kind of genius. I've seen, this is an old promoter trick. Promoter slap you on the flyer to get the money and, and then, then, then come and then, and then, and then now I got enough money you. to pay you. Now, sometimes mm-hmm. it backfires, especially in social media climate, because I could speak out today. Yeah. True. And it's and backfiring shut that shit now. Down. Yeah, it's backfired a couple. How many people. artists have basically said, uh, um, "I don't know anything about this"? First, Mary J. Blige did it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mary but was then, first. What well, Juvenile was first? No, Mar- Mary, Mary, was Mary was the first Mary's one I saw. Juvenile. Okay. Mace was the first one I saw. That is true. And then after everybody else came out, Mace just kept going. <laughs> yeah, it was Mace. First. And Mary's uh-huh. back on now. First, Mary put a statement out saying that. Uh, I thought that it conflicted with her more she, than that, a woman. That, that was her original statement. Okay. Well, you're and, speaking over, man. Um, oh. Excuse me. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. That was her original <laughs> statement that she was preparing for her, um, her, her festival that she had. Mm-hmm. And now she's back on there and they moved her name up higher. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right. Yeah. Get it right. Straight Get it right woman. for the yeah. TikTok. Um, Juvenile did speak out, he ain't on it. Juvie said, yo, don't put my name on that shit unless you send in the back. All right, well, I have 9,000 other names. No, Juvie Thank, now. Thanks, Juvie. <laughs> peace, peace, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Don't do that to Juvenile. I'm not doing nothing to Juvenile. Them niggas would have put Joe Button on there. They would have sold mad tickets. And you would have cursed their ass out. What's, what's mm-hmm. mad? Yo, I, hello? My, 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 I thought I said that low enough where he heard me, but you didn't. My fault. <laughs> yo, <laughs> my man, my man. They had to, they had to crack them. Nah, I'd have called and told him to get my name the fuck out of there. Don't play with me. We ain't pumping nothing up today. <laughs> Pump down. <laughs> Stupid, yo. Well, shout out to lovers and friends and the people that have or have not been paid. Shit, it's the new yeah. fire festival. It sounds well, like well, it. But the crazy like part it. is, so I remember the first time we saw the festival. We was like, yo, there's no way this could happen. Because it's one day. Yeah. Yeah. A festival with this type of lineup needs at least a week. At least <laughs> a weekend. At least a weekend. Yeah. Like, Three days. Shit. <laughs> But it was one day. We were like, it couldn't happen. Then you start to see tweets and posts from people that was like, nah, this shit went down and it was dope. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they got people going up there to do one 30 seconds of a song. I think <laughs> yeah, I, know, I heard it was multiple stages, but I don't know how they squeezing all of this in one day. But I would I would love to check one out one day. I ain't going this year. But yeah, shout out to everybody going, man. But no, pay the, it's the, take my name off the fly. My name. You, if we don't have nothing in writing... Stop put, don't put my name on your flyer, though. But that, like I said, that's the promoter trick. That's what they do. They that's run it up, trick. and now I'll talk to you. That is a bad trick. Now when you hit me and say, yo, I need X amount to be up there, I got it. Because I mean, they selling tickets out the gate. As soon as they announce the, they are, the flyer, they, they selling tickets. Based on my name. They selling now. VIPs. They selling all of this uh, add-on mm-hmm. shit. So, yeah. All right, cool. We got you up here now. Mar- here go your money. Married and cracked their ass. Yes, she uh-huh. did. Married and cracked their See, ass. that's what happened. When you have a following and a name... You can go out there and put that little video out there, and all your people are gonna say something. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. She cracked him. 
She cracked him. God bless. You did it again to me, ish. <laughs> <laughs> You did, it, you did it again, big dog. I didn't know where he was going I hope, with this. I hope you're proud of yourself. I tried to call you the next day. You wouldn't answer my call. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong I can't. Guy? I can't believe I let you do it again, too. And you let me do it. Yes. Yeah, what's I'll wrong pick with, that up in a second. Speaking of lovers and friends. <laughs> speaking of lovers and friends. This is what I learned. This is what I learned from mine and Ish's little kerfuffle. <laughs> again. That went viral. That went viral. Okay. Everybody fucking, everybody hitting my phone and DMing me. They all on his side. Mm. <laughs> you don't say. You don't see why? Not at all. Everybody I think they all a little. Well, everybody, everybody, everybody was on his side. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so you think everyone's crazy? Uh, Mel, Mel, Mel. Real question. One more time. Tell them who was on his side. Everyone was on. <laughs> Just you, a real You question. think he can't speak for himself, oh. or does he have a uh, does no, he have asking, a parrot? No, I was just asking a question. See? I was just asking. You, you was on his side, right? I was just right. Hmm? Always on his side, right? <laughs> Won't lead that shit. <laughs> it's comfy over there. No, I, no. Oh. To, answer, <laughs> to answer your question, Mel, no, I don't see why everybody's on his side. I don't know. I think because he turns red. I don't know. But <laughs> what, what I learned, I could answer why. Please but, don't. Because you changed the whole argument. Like literally, what y'all are y'all are y'all do y'all are y'all is your comprehension off? <laughs> Dog, I, it sounded I like yours sure, was. I have to make sure I understand this time, and I'm not going to yell, so I'm gonna understand. All right, let me. I, I was the trying to moderate this. The premise of the do it. The premise of the argument was me saying I don't intentionally fuck behind none of my friends. Right? Is in that the only argument? Right? Yes, that was your. So argument. take it away. No, that was the argument. You said, and it intentionally wasn't in that argument Ooh. originally first. That well, You slipped that in there just now. Ooh. That word was never in there. See, this, I'm what just, y'all, this is what y'all do. Hey, Imani! Yeah. Bro, I'm... Now, now niggas is yelling. See, I'm not... I don't, I've been fire like, up that stove! I'd love to go... I, yeah, fire it up. <laughs> not intentionally. You have to know, knowingly. Knowingly fuck behind True. your friends. I mean, it's the same shit. You would have to know that your friend fucks somebody. What are you talking about? Here was the argument. You said, I don't... Nor would I. You would not fuck behind any of your friends. Would not do Ever. it. No. And then he just posed to give you. He he was giving you an example of someone where you were either about to do that, attempting to do that. And that's where happening. and that's where you lose me at. And that's what I learned from this. There's a bunch of people out there that think if you kiss somebody, you trying to fuck them. Yes. And yes. all of y'all here Absolutely. think that. No. If I'm, what kind of kiss? I don't think that. Look, now it does, we, now, that I'm does just, matter. Now, now, that matters. I'm just being, I'm keeping if, it a buck. If you are on your way home and run up to a popping public bar in Manhattan mm -hmm. and the girl is in there drunk, pull you to the back of the public bar and kiss you and you taste that little tequila on her mouth, you know, mm -hmm. like the good, that kiss, mm -hmm. and then you take your ass home. Y'all can't think that we was about to fuck in the public bar. It's happened mm, before. Definitely. I have happened. never no, fucked no. in a public bar. No, I have. That's that's a white boy shit. <laughs> no, it ain't, it ain't just white. <laughs> <laughs> you never in a club? No, I have class and decorum. Love in the Body. club. In the it, <sighs> now nobody want to talk. <laughs> now nobody no, want to talk. We can't, no, we can't talk. We can't talk. Why? Why? We really can't talk. Can't or can? Cannot. Why not? I would love to talk, but there's things I can't say, and it changes the argument. I can't, we can't talk. At the end of the day, I, I'm saying that you can oh, fuck without kissing and you can kiss without, without fucking. That is true. I Correct. That. And true. if you know that to be true, then how, is, how am I moving the goalpost? But here's, here's the bigger issue for me during the argument is that what I agree with Joe was when he said, why are you listening to a bitch over your friend? Why you never believe your friends? And where we from... That's, you don't listen yeah, to our that, man. Yeah, that's, that's not. What, so that's unless not unless there, code. unless there's a pattern that you saw when you caught a nigga in a lie, I kind of was on the side. I was, I was whispering to you like, "Ish, why?" I, that's the part yeah, I that's agree with. Totally against bro. The girl, the girl didn't say they fucked. The no, girl but the girl said, said to him that he tried to fuck. He her. tried to fuck him. That's what you said. She said you said that. Ish. He said that. He and he's never had. That, and he he's never yes. had that conversation with me. And the girl ain't stupid enough to say nothing like I'm, that to me. I'm quiet. Just let me know when I can go. But why, that was just that was just my thing. That's the only Joe way. and I have had a conversation about said girl. 
in which Joe told me that See, he that's got to that's got to stop too. You gotta let him finish. No, he gotta let him finish. Let him finish. Let him, he let everybody yeah, else talk. But he's starting with something. But still, I well, told address him. it. Address it after he finished, though. Let let him get his shit off. Joe and I have had a conversation about his run-in with the girl, where Joe confirmed what the girl said. That's number one. So I'm not believing so that, the girl. See, look, so I'm believing man, look, Joe look, look, look. and the girl Joe because has never their story. Told you that I tried to fuck this girl. I didn't. Who said that? Joe told me that he was tongue kissing said girl. He changed the location for our argument, but I let it rock because the premise is still the same. Uh -huh. Joe told me that he and the girl were on a late night rendezvous kissing. Uh -huh. I didn't make that up. The girl didn't tell me. My man and the girl told me. So I'm not believing the girl over my man because my man's story is the same as the girl outside of the location. So that's so wait. So that's you that interprets that as I was trying to fuck her. Look at that time, as you said that she did tell you that he tried to fuck her. Right. I did I, say that. Listen to what I said. Joe said that he was with the girl powwowing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cool. The girl told me she was with Joe powwowing. The girl's intent is going to be, yeah, he tried to fuck me because that's what most 99.8% of niggas is doing at 2 or 3 in the morning when they start tongue kissing a girl is we trying to get right with the girl. In a public bar? Was there any yeah. heavy petting Wait. involved? Was there any heavy, Was there a crotch grab? <laughs> Again. Ass grab, boob grab. Yo, where I come from, this has happened before where you kiss in the spot and go on about your business. Yeah, that happens. There's no follow-up text. There's no. This was a spontaneous, in-the-moment kiss the nice. end, it was no, nothing following that. So my point to Ish was, Ish know me. Ish know I'm a certified killer. Sniper. Right? I got a question. Ish, he know I'm a certified killer. Big freeze. He What's also knows that if I wanted to pop this woman, that the woman would have been popped. So if you're rolling with what, what, the, what, what whoever is saying, then why do you think she wasn't popped? Wait, can I, ask, wait, can I go first? Ooh, wait. Please. I can't answer. Oh, wait, that's a answer. better let question. Answer, then, and then I want to uh, ask my yo, question. Yo, he don't need to. No, but, but no. I, just, niggas but not, when Mel did it for you, I agree, bro, nigga. Bro. No, I no. agree. Look at what he That's not what he did. Go I ahead. agree you, with you him, nigga. You go. So, so that means the bitch must have told you that he wanted to fuck and I didn't give him no pussy. Having those type of conversations to me is weird in the first yeah, place with a bitch about that, your man. That's what I'm That's, that's what I'm from. That sounds crazy. Ish know that the girl would be that sounds crazy. if bro. I was trying to pop. That that's sounds it. crazy. That's so, why I stand So he get on the air and want to frame it a certain way and use his little fucking DeVry words. Nigga, you know that I was not trying to fuck that girl. I, I just want to ask one question. Please. I, Which I, is the original I, argument. I'm, I'm just waiting for the for, people to say Was she, was she, because you refer to her as like sewer rat. She's for the streets. My, Stop. Yeah, she, 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 for the well, streets. she was that? Like when you when you met her? Yes. That nigga's talking to yes. in public, nigga? This yes. Shit. Beautiful, beautiful lips. All right, go ahead. Beautiful lips. Go ahead, you go. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> take that one. Yeah, I don't even know why we have this conversation. All right, so now please, I, I'm letting everybody speak. Uh-huh. One. Joe has modified the location and where the kisses were taking place. No, I, I don't think not. that matters. No, I have not. It, it don't matter. Yeah. That's, that's a real minuscule detail. Uh -huh. It does matter, though. Um, number two. I don't think it does. It does. It, very, very much so, in fact. It matters if it's in a <laughs> private place. We're well, in a public place. Yeah. Bar to bar don't matter to me. It wasn't yeah, a bar. It was, it was a, bar. a bar. I'm telling you, your friend cool. again right. is telling you where Listen this happened this. since you've never spoken to me about this until we you were on the. You and I you. did speak about this. Before. You're the only one that remembers. I don't. Remember. Right, that's that's fine. You, you you don't remember a lot. Number two, <laughs> did this happen? I walk in the spot. It's about 1:30 in the morning. Uh huh. I walk in the spizz Yeah. Who do I see? <laughs> My man Joe Beasy in the spot with Shorty. On and, a, on and nothing on a late night. Not just me and her. You, I've never been anywhere with just uh, me and her. Dog, can I speak? Cause you, I got good. Dog, can I speak? I walk in the spot. My man Joe Beasy in the spot with Shorty and her friend, mm -hmm. which is normal for all of us. Mm -hmm. That's nothing for us to do. Now this complication could get a little further. I left out some details to spare my man. <laughs> I can I leave don't out know the details. You talking I, you, about, and it, So when this happens, <laughs> no and Joe gets the about. convenient amnesia, one, we in Joe's eyes, Joe could be laying in the bed naked with the girl and say, "Yo, I had no intent on fucking the girl." Could any of us prove him wrong? No. Okay. So all of us are going to lose that particular argument 
Because but Joe, look- unless he penetrates the girl, always has plausible deniability because I never popped. No, as niggas, you know when somebody's trying to pop a girl. Yeah, 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm tongue kissing her in the back of a spot, I'm trying to fuck. Oh, uh, see, uh, I am not. Let me ask you a question, Ish. Let me ask you a question, Ish. Ish, hold on. I'm not. Hold on, Joe. Ish, let me ask you a question. you would be in. Let, let me ask you a question, Ish. Me? Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you a question. Don't put your horniness on me. That let me ask you a question. I wouldn't. If you, if, 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 if you kissing a girl, right, and you don't pop, if she wants to pop and you don't pop, don't women have fragile e- ego? Fragile, you know, right? So when, a lot of ninety percent of women, when you don't pop or if, if you don't return a text, will say he tried to fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the line people and use. Come say on, that we, no, we talked about though, this that's before. It's me and you. Him. That's I, my beef with him. What I keep Flip. telling you is that did, there are. Did she say, did she say anything story? about you? Her, did she say it like she curved him? Did she say that? I'm That's asking you. It get I nasty. Like, he he want to hold her down. Me. No, I don't. He want to hold her down. Whatever she this said. is my man. I look I up to you. Nigga, this is crazy, crazy bro. I'm telling you. Yo, I, let's 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 move past. Right, this, let's move, bro. Okay. I'm and, more shocked that y'all. I only brought it up to say I'm more shocked that so many people out there think. That if you kiss, you trying to fuck. No, it's other. It's other things. I don't, I don't that, think that's what it was, Joe. I think that's all he's got on me. I don't true. think that's what I think. It, that's what not he said. True, they said you said okay. that I don't fuck that's behind not, my niggas, and he's proved he felt like true. it's all right though. It's cool, fam. What I'm saying is this: if niggas say, "Yo, I hate white cars," don't go buy a white car. And then when you say, "Yo, but this ain't a car. This an SUV," or "Yo, this ain't a car. It's a hybrid." Like, yo, fam, chill out. If we gonna say it, say it, or don't say it at all. See that, and that, because that's, in my opinion, so this is where let's clear up this, mm-hmm. dog. And how I think this is an honest, given truth. Some people in here can confirm. It's not about a girl. I don't care about a girl. Yo, you can't police her box. If I hit it first and then Joe followed up and behind me and hit it, guess what? She wanted Joe to hit it. Who am I to say anything about that? Mm. So yeah, what's the code tall. violation? That's None. Real. There is no code violation. There is no code that violation what, uh, in that. That's okay. where the argument is getting misconstrued. Yeah, he's just and trying problem. to say that I did try to fuck the girl, and I'm saying I didn't. It's just... But I thought the code violation we, was fucking behind your friend. That's and, not a code it's violation. Not, it's not. Uh, okay. Okay. Nah. It don't have to be. I mean, it, it can it, be, it's, but it's it don't a whole violation. I, I think it depends on who the chick on, is. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the, the level of involvement okay. between if sex guy like, like girl. If a girl's from like the streets. Like an ex-girlfriend. Yes. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah, be yeah, a that's violation. violation. That's okay. bullshit. Mm-hmm. But if, 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 if she was a... For the streets. Sewer rat. I'm not mutt, even... I'm not calling a girl all that. If she was just somebody that I didn't have a strong affinity for or she didn't hold a special place in my heart or my life... She was some work. Yeah, nigga, let's and, do it. Cha-cha slide. And, you know, I thought of some more. Like, Slack surf. Ish might not have known she was for the streets. Mm. I feel like you brought that up the last time. That that wouldn't... It doesn't matter. What would that matter? It doesn't matter at all. No, that can matter. That matters. It doesn't matter. It can't no, matter. The point that of the argument was, it doesn't matter I don't matters. fuck behind my niggas. And Joe said... But hey, we didn't fuck. This is what Joe said. I didn't meet the girl through you. Now we're going to get to the crux. Joe said, I didn't meet the girl through you. I said, I don't remember meeting the girl through you. I told him the day, time, location of which he met said girl. And I still don't remember. He then moves and says, she don't count. She for the streets. No, 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 no. That's not. No, you keep moving my point around. No, I remember him saying he met her through somebody else. I met her through somebody else. I told him, no, you didn't. But he's like, okay, that could be true. I don't remember that. And when I see her, I still don't associate meeting her through you, and I met her through this these person. Are that has happened to me these before. Are, I met somebody around this person. And these are extra and details because I never tried to fuck this girl. You have to find another girl that you pop so that I tried to I pop for you to win this woman. I don't even care. You kept forcing this conversation to the airways. Yeah, because we're here, man. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to have this conversation, right. fam. You got damn right, I did. What else, what else is important? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Usher <laughs> dropped. Well, the, the track dropped, list, right? Yes. Uh, said, he dropped a track no list and he dropped a record. <laughs> yeah, he dropped a record. These R&B niggas are so slick, boy. These R&B niggas are slick. Hey, yo. You ruined me for everybody. everybody. <laughs> All it takes is a line like that. Mm. I want to do it, too. And you're going to throw it right <laughs> in your repertoire. Look, man. <laughs> I ain't used to be like this before you. You did this. <laughs> I'm excited for the Usher album. She, me too. Very. Me too. Um, the first half of it, I got to find a track list, but the first half is all the summer and 21 and all of the, mm-hmm. all of those bops. Yeah. Let me find a track list because 
toward toward the All right, end. So it, track list is um, yeah, which we, be the oh, features shit. or which one? Second half gonna be the yeah. The second half is I what I cared about. Hey. Yeah, the first half is feature heavy. <laughs> um, Burner Boy, Summer Walker, Twenty One Savage, Lotto, The Dream, Her, <laughs> and the rest is a solo. It's uh, twenty tracks total, damn, including one remix. Damn, Usher and Her might be. I want to hear that's Usher the one I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. Is, is it a new Usher and Her record or the no. one that's out already? That's risk, that's risk it all. That's when it's out. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was for the uh, color purple soundtrack. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty funny in the Shay uh, Shannon Sharp interview when he's like, "And I'm fully independent now." Yeah, I just called up Larry Jackson and uh, we said, "L.A. Reed," and we, I was like, um, "I ain't really sure that's how that goes." I, I don't think that's yeah. I don't think that's fully independent, really. Like, <laughs> you know what they mean by independent. I don't, I don't know if I do anymore. No, no. Independent just means I own it. That's uh, it. That's that's it. A label don't own it. All that other stuff, that was the argument with Chance before, where it's like, no, I'm independent. And it was like, yo, no, you're not. You have all these partnerships and so, shits everywhere else. Yeah, but I own it, though. To what he's saying, explain it. What? Because normally when you sign to a label, they own your project. True. Now well, people are, most of the time. Yeah. Now, a lot of times, people are maintaining the ownership, and they're just getting the deal for dis- distribution. Distribution through the label. Mm. Okay. So now their cl- you know, their thing is that's hey, where the I'm partner independ- word comes from. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's now true. it's I'm independent because I own this project, but I have a deal in place for y'all to take care of distribution. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. It's a uh, send me the track list, Ice. Yeah, I got you. It's an interesting uh, take on independence, but salute. Salute. I mean, but so now in in those um, distribution partnership situations, can you say, yo, um, I'm going to pull my distribution partnership from Universal and go over here to Warner if you want? Depending uh, on the I guess the, theoretically the deal. you could. Yeah, probably. Or would it still be some contractual shit? It's probably for contractual for a certain amount of time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. But it could be a one-off too. You know what I mean? It could be just this album. It's... Yeah, when you own it, you got kind of freedom to play around and do all that type of shit. So. All right, here we go. Usher, let me see. One coming on, good, good, A-Town Girl. No, 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 no. Here we go. Right around track nine. Stone Cold Freak, <laughs> followed by Ruin, which we just heard. That's what we just played. Followed by Big, followed by On the Side, mm-hmm. followed by I Am the Party, bitch. Mm. It's not, it's not, it doesn't say that. Now we about I to turn up, bitch. though. I Am the Party, followed by I love you, mm-hmm. followed by please you, mm-hmm. followed by luckiest man. Yeah. You already know what's happening yep, on these. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that, that's when the Usher high pitch voice come out. Followed by Margiela, <laughs> Margiela, followed by room in a room, followed by one of them ones. Yeah. That's what I need to hear. Yeah, 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 right there. I need to hear the second half. The bottom half. Yeah. Because I know what he's doing in the first half. He's doing all his bops, his little dancey dance tunes, Super Bowl shit. That's the shit to sell. Yeah. yeah. That's, 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 hey, that's, sell your records. I ain't mad at nobody sell. selling your records. That's why y'all got these names on these records and mm-hmm. et cetera. Yeah, this is the sell. But on the side, that's when I do my mo- best work. <clears throat> you goddamn right. Hit that little fucking music shit on the Apple TV. Get the spooning. Get yeah. Your, no, right get the right to the cup. side. Yeah. Get, yeah. Get, get yeah. That Don't foot. let me have a good headboard. That I can maneuver around with some leverage. Get that leverage with the foot. The foot mm-hmm. gotta be. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Got like a got, kickstand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shit down there to, you know what I mean? Get your little, you know what I mean? Yeah, to Planet the side. Right. And it's different. You gotta wake up first. Wake up first, too. You hit that pussy with a different vigor when it's from the side. And she's just, you gotta surprise. She's like, oh, oh what you doing? Oh. Hey, I know. Oh. You wake up. You wake up, too. You gotta smack your man a little bit. <laughs> find oh, the yeah. vein. Oh, you gotta sure. find the vein. <laughs> oh, shit. Before you shoot up. Get up, nigga. Get up, nigga. It's time to put in work, nigga. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. No, nah, that's that. That's I start that. rubbing that shit with my shit. Yeah, you know what's coming. Yeah, yeah. You know, Give me a few minutes. You feel a pat. You feel a. You, you, know, you know you get the old car. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta pump it a little bit though. You, know, you gotta pump it a little bit. Word up. But once you get the going, word is over. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to hear this project. How y'all think? Are you gonna do with the Super Bowl? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. He a performer. He's gonna, yes. He's gonna kill this. He performer. You just seen him live, so you tell yeah. us. Uh, he smoked that Vegas. Uh, that Vegas run he did. Yeah. But Super Bowl is different. 
How yeah, many that, minutes? That's, is that's like why. 13, I asked. That's 14 why I asked. Thirteen, something like that. Thirteen, fourteen minutes. Mm. Good enough. That boy been doing this Smoke since he was a kid. I think it's. I think it's a layup for him. Out, come out there with skates and change of fit on you, all of this shit. Because again, you one of them, yo. If everybody, I've not heard one bad review from the Vegas show, and I know people that went from all different walks of life. True. He had to put on hours. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hour long performances. How was it? Mm-hmm. Hour and a half. Yeah, it was longer than that. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he do all that. Over two? Yeah, a little bit. Really? Yeah, I was there for a second. So, fam, if you can smoke two hours, 13, 14 minutes, and you got every resource on the planet behind you and at your disposal, I don't... The 13, 14 minutes is probably harder, no? Possibly. Yes or no? I think it'd be much harder. Because now you you talking about getting the right records, uh-huh. the right amount of time. He got like, enough. I don't know. He, it's not <laughs> about... but. <laughs> I do want to hit certain songs, so mm-hmm. how much of this one can I do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And still got to perform it. It's, it's just it's, it's hard, but but it's, it's Usher. I didn't love the West Coast one. I didn't love mm-hmm. the Rihanna one, like everybody else. I didn't West Coast. I think yeah, Rih- uh, I think Drainum. I think Rihanna. Um, oh, Super Bowl. I think Rihanna did what she could do. Yeah, she was pregnant. She was pregnant. Yeah. She was pregnant. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? She still was did the most, and she did. You know the the the, the whole. Floating stage. All of that yeah. shit was fly. She couldn't really get out there and give us bad girl Riri. She was pregnant. The the LA one was eh. That was the shit to me. I like that. That was my that was probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah, so but I just been, fire. I just been watching footage of the old yeah. the old, old Super Bowl niggas. shows. Yes. Like Mike and Mike and them used to get busy. Yeah. Prince. Prince. Mike. You mean when Mike sat with all with all the kids and shit in the stand and all that? The Super Bowl, right? I think the kids came later if I'm not if I'm remembering right. The Hill the World looks crazy. Shit. That was crazy mm-hmm. at the end. Yeah, I, I, I just think Usher is, he bred for this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Again, I only got to do 13 minutes. I'm going to hit you with all of the. Don't let, don't let them And have look at all out. you fucking, uh, fucking fiending ass artists now going to try and sneak an album out on Super Bowl Sunday on the back of Usher. Yeah. <laughs> I hate You're that. Damn right. Yo, let me have my moment. Yeah. Right. You're going to have your you moment. Have I'm going to get a little bit of that too. Who you else is supposed it? to drop? I'm trying to sell some music. I've seen some people promoting their music dropping on February 8th, whatever that day is. Oh, okay. I'm dropping a single. I'm going to drop something. How would that help? Nigga, I'm out in Vegas. It's party all, time. All, I'm eye, like, all eyes are in one spot shopping yeah. for music. And that, mm-hmm. that, but that's my argument yeah, to y'all before. That. Like, uh-huh. I don't understand why I would even push my, ar- my album if right under. Drake or Taylor Swift or whomever, when they go to buy these shit, hopefully I got enough cachet at my label to have my shit right up under theirs, and I'm gonna piggyback off of them. Y'all but say that that's not a good idea. Nah, I'm, I, to certain I'm, people, not, I'm, I'm of the belief that I wouldn't do it. I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but I wouldn't do it. It depends. If, on I think to those chasing numbers, because again, a lot of times they want the runway. Hey, I can. I only got the number one because there was nothing else out. Got gotcha. you. So. Uh, the number one to a lot of these mm. people mean more than what the album fucking sells. Just to say I had the number one album in the country or the number one album on iTunes or it's whatever. More, more value. Yeah, more value. so now I got to pick that time where there is nobody out there. The block is completely quiet. Now I can run out here and say, yeah, I'm number one gotcha. for an hour. Gotcha. <laughs> I only needed to be number one for an hour. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm saying. I, I, hey, it's, tr- it's I, If it was just an hour... My claim of being number one is a factual claim that gotcha. I can prove. Gotcha. Whereas if it's a big dog dropping, I don't stand a chance. I'd be in number one. Yeah. Even if your shit is fire, they're probably going to listen. If the Usher shit is more fire, I'm going to be listening to Usher Yeah, I'm going to go back to Usher. Yo, you bought that shit? What? You bought it. Oh. Well, well they're not, not buying music. Yeah, that's, true. That's, true. That's, true. that's true. Yeah, it's different. Like I saw um, Fabio is dropping his project on February 9th. The 9th. Yeah. And... That's also the date that Kanye, Kanye and Ty Dolla mm-hmm. signed. He was like, yo. That's not coming. I, it ain't got good now. But um, Fabio was like, well, I'm not moving my date. I'm glad he's he's dropping on the same day. But and some people approach it that way. Like, all right, cool. Well, I think that works when you're no, not he, the same uh, genre or marketplace. But Fabio said that as if he was Kanye asked him to move the date. Mm-hmm. No. Why would he do that? What do you mean? Why would he do that? Why would Kanye ask Fabio to move the date? Because I want the date to myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he looks. I don't at think he worried about any asking someone to move a date. Don't necessarily don't have to always say you worried about. You just want you just want it yourself. Him. Just move. I just, just want the conversation. And you, might, and you, my, you, and you my, my man. Little man. Yeah, he yeah. was on my last album. Yeah. Listen, mm, I'm telling you, my one? my re- he might be on it. Are you true? Because it keep changing. He might be on it. It ain't on the one I got, but. But if Kanye asked Fabio to move and Fabio was still like, nah, nigga, I need that date. My album is dropping. Then, yeah, I'm, I'm in support of that. 
You in support of Fabio. Yeah, yeah, me too. If I want to drop this yeah, date, I'm not going to move. A thousand percent. I mean, again, unless you're one of those ones who are trying to look for that empty runway so you can sneak your number one in there, then yeah, I'm going to move. And I'll keep moving until, all right, ain't nobody dropping in this little two-week span. I'm going right here. I'm about the money, bro. But I understand. If yeah, that, but that number one can lead to... It's some like, more shit. Yeah, you got yeah. a number one album. I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, Garrett Morris got a star in the Walk of Fame. Nice. What was that like? Martin. You don't know Stan from Martin. Stan, the one who owned the radio station. That's his name? Yes. Yeah, his name. Damn, I know a black person you ain't know. Y'all doing great for Black History Month. <laughs> this one, y'all. I didn't yo, know Stan's real name. It's crazy, bro. You knew it wasn't Stan. I knew it wasn't Stan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just mentioned that. He was somebody I always assumed already had a star. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. I think right. it was his 87th 80. birthday. Oh, wow. Damn. Damn. Uh, 87 to 89. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. 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 That's all in store. Mm -hmm. uh, they locked up Hootie. I know y'all don't care. Nah, not Hootie. They got Hootie. Hootie did. Mm -hmm. He was hooing too much. <laughs> you mean? What they called him with, man? Hookers? DUI. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. uh, mm. Which is normally some hookers. <laughs> it's usually something involved in there. Yeah. Some Yo, my it. heart goes out. My heart goes out to y'all DUI niggas out there that got the shit in the car. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta talk to them when you pull over, when you park. And Dog, that you... shit hard too. Pause. When you blow it, you blew yeah. for somebody. Uh, yeah, that shit is pause. <laughs> <laughs> that... you, wait, you exposed? Yo, it's cool over here. Blow the shit. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, blow it harder, dog. What you doing? I'm playing my man. Bro. <laughs> shit ain't easy. I don't even understand. That shit is crazy. You got to blow it before you start it's the car. The, they got a breathalyzer in the car, yeah, and that's it. what will start the car. Is, yeah. Yeah. So you got to, but it, it ain't. You weren't blowing hard enough. Y'all niggas so silly, my nigga. Tell us. It's a rhythm. Still? You got to do it just more. Oh, you got yeah, to do it. Wait, wait, wait. That, 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 that is a fact. That is a fact. You got to blow the rhythm? Oh, never mind. Yo, now y'all tell us. so immature. Very pro. Tell us. I'm trying to understand what you're saying. You won't say it. You got to blow, and then you got to suck. Yeah. So wait, you gotta you gotta yeah. use one hand or two when you hold it. You gotta blow and hold it. <laughs> <laughs> or no hands. <laughs> gotta let you oh, Freak! <laughs> Control so yourself. Am... Niggas oh, is so man. immature, sir. You okay. never seen one before? Um, I've never had to blow it. No, I'm saying like none of your friends never that shit is it ain't it, that shit is nigga, I don't drink. And that shit was hard for me to get the green light. Like, damn, like that shit is it's complicated. Yeah, my people's had that before. Like his girl. Had to like take the kids to school and shit, and had to blow in the shit every day because they shared a car. Yeah. Oh shit! That's all. It don't matter who <laughs> driving the car. Huh? Yeah. It don't matter who driving the car. Oh, who, yeah. oh yeah. that's wild. The actual yeah. car won't start. Yeesh. That's Interlock. That's wild, wild shit. shit. Nah, no, y'all can have that. I'll pass. Stay, mm. stay. Lead a patrol along. Yep. Uber. Word. That's all. Jesus. Did y'all see the um trailer for the Wendy Williams doc? I did. Mm -hmm. I, did I didn't know. see it. That shit is um You critical. So I'm shocked. I'm 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 It's very yeah. sad. Yeah. It's a very sad trailer. The trailer's it, sad? The trailer's yes. very sad. Why? Because yeah. it's it's like a real behind the scenes and in depth look into her with her family, how they've been taking care of her, what she's been going through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh also it's like a it's a now doc. It's now. Yes. not yeah. a History of Wendy. No, it's, it's, it's called it's called Where Is Wendy Williams? Okay. Yeah. Um, it's on. It's coming out on Lifetime. Mm -hmm. It's a two night. Uh, okay. So I guess okay. like part one, part two type of situation. Ugh. And it just says the struggling doc reveals her struggles with money woes, health issues, and alcohol. Oh, mm -hmm. damn. so yeah, you could tell it's focusing on the the bad Yeesh. today. Yeah, the today. That's what I was trying to say. The bad of today. That's fucked mm -hmm. up though to me. I don't like that. Why? Um. It's Wendy, man. We know she's going through problems, and I, well, I feel I mean, like some of these companies. She had to have signed off. I know, on but this. I feel like these companies exploit them. She I know she did, but I just don't. That's true. Well, okay. they talk about. She's talking. Calm, I guess. Well, they're talking about. They're talking about you know her money woes, so it's possible that she did this as a result she of she didn't have a choice of yeah. needing Yeesh. needing some money. We know you need but, money. Let us exploit you. Yeah. Yeah, but why does she need money? Because the bank froze mm -hmm. her account. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's discussion um, as to her guardianship and how they've been using her money. Mm -hmm. um, so that gets uh, mentioned throughout this um, documentary. Her family explains that 
there's some something rotten in Denmark with that. So do some of y'all look at it as the chickens came home to roost with her? Yes. You know what's wait, so the, I find that really, really interesting. Because what's the difference between like a Wendy Williams and a Howard Stern? Wendy Williams and Star. Wendy Williams and Char. Well, Wendy Williams and Joe. Like it's just like I've I've noticed the commentary when it comes to a woman doing what she did. Mm-hmm. And it's always like chickens coming home to roost. It's always like, well, that's karmic retribution. Mm-hmm. But it's never, the lens is never turned around when it comes to men within the same, you know, realm. I'm not familiar with the thing. I mean, I've heard about Howard Stern, but I'm not as familiar with, like, a lot of the things that he did. Um, he was messy. I'm I, Messy. I've heard about yeah. it. I don't uh-huh. know, but I, I know. I've, I was there. I've seen a bunch of the Wendy Williams stuff. And, like, you, you ruined... You know, potentially ruin people's marriages, and you, you were wilding. I saw again. If if those other ones did it, I'm not familiar with it. But in this particular instance, I remember a lot of these things. So that's why I'm on the chickens coming home to roost side of it when it comes to her. I don't know whose relationships, marriages, lives that Howard Stern ruined. If it happened, I'm just not aware of it. I don't like using karmic retribution uh, regarding somebody's health. I wasn't even talking about the health part. Karmic retribution doesn't even work like that, but I I agree with it. It just the two things just don't. Well, that's where we've been with Wendy Williams for a few years now Mm -hmm. in terms of. I just mean a fall off, a fall from grace. Yeah, but the fall from grace is directly related to her health. Cool. So, Mm -hmm. can we say how you get it back? How? What do you mean? If 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 you throw out something to the universe, right? We all believe in some sort of karma or no. Uh-huh. So we can be all on the same page. I don't know if I do or not, but... In, every, in any and every religion, they speak of karmic law. If you're not religious and you're spiritual, you still believe in the energy that you throw Cause out. Cause and effect, come back shit like that. Uh, mm-hmm. So if you've done things that brought hurt, that brought pain, that brought discomfort or injustice to somebody then the world, a lot of people believe that that's going to come back to you in some way, shape, or form. Now, it may not come back to you in the same exact way that you did it, but it may come back to you in another way. Some some religions say ten times, tenfold. Mm-hmm. So it could be. I'm just saying it could be. Human uh, beings always like apply instant gratification to the concept of karmic retribution. Mm-hmm. So it's not like, you know, okay, so you did you know, bad like 10 years ago, and now here's your karma. Karma doesn't factor into our like small scale of, of the understanding of time. So like, that's why, that. it's, that's why it's, I've always been like karmic retribution. She's always talked about having health issues. Mm-hmm. Even when it came to getting pregnant, she had a lot of health issues. She's also talked about the abuse of drugs and alcohol throughout her life. You know, she's always ex- talked about having thyroid conditions and people think like just having a thyroid condition is minor, but it is a very, very major condition to have an autoimmune um, disorder. Mm-hmm. So she's gotten older. And so she, these health issues start to compound. So why is it karma and not just the natural progression of what her life and her health it, it, history was going to dictate? I'm just, I'm just speaking you know? to how people feel. No, I know. So, and it hasn't been instant gratification. Wendy Williams was torturing niggas 30 years ago. Mm-hmm. I remember in 97, 98, Wendy Williams was scorching niggas, Puff, Method Man, Funk Master Flex, all of these types of things. And you didn't really give a fuck about how it will play out to their families. And so now I think one of the things, and Joe's spoken about this, Joe loves Wendy Williams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Joe's spoken about the fact that um, the, the the TV station was doing her dirty. Joe didn't like how they were even canceling her show or the transition to phase her out of the show. Joe spoke very, very, very passionately about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I told Joe, even at that time, the people don't see it that way because she wasn't passionate when it came to other people's downfall or she wasn't passionate or handled nobody else with kid gloves when it came to other people's problems and issues. So you can't expect for somebody to have empathy when it comes to your shit. Sympathy when it comes to your shit. Yeah, I don't like any of that. <clears throat> but you know how I feel about Wendy. I know, I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, and I, I see like you being quiet. I'm just speaking to the other side. It's not issues. I'm talking about the masses because we read the comments and niggas are saying basically, so what? Yeah, what I think it really, I don't think it's so much as karmic retribution. It's just like, nigga, you ain't give a fuck about nobody. So niggas don't give a fuck when it's happening to you. Like I'll give you, a, I'll bring it to us. I'll give you an example. Joe, if the podcast blows up tomorrow and there's no more JBP, 
and them niggas start playing another one bites the dust and making jokes and laughing at us, mm -hmm. that's how they'll treat it because when somebody else shit failed, this is the way you treated them. That's true. So that's what it is with Wendy. It's like, yo, you, anytime some dirt about somebody was out there, even if it was true or not, you never handled nobody with grace. Never. You, so now you got your own dirt coming. But now niggas is like, yeah, now it's your turn. But she was stuck between the rock and the hard place because they confiscated her money. So then now Lifetime comes, offer to do a story on her. And if she doesn't have money, of course, she's going to take it. And mm -hmm. now they're filming the, 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 worst, the, the, the worst side yeah. of her. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying even before, so I'm just like saying a lot, the a lot, downfall, you know, period. Karma, People karma, are not going to care. Karmic retribu retrib retribution should be like... If people report on it, but she was actually put in a that's how I look at it. No, I know, and that's what but I said. She was actually put in a position where she couldn't win. So now I have no choice. Let me take this because my whatever lifestyle and stuff like that. I know, you know, Miss Jones was going in there spending time with Wendy when she was going through these things mm -hmm. personally and explaining to me what was going on with Wendy mm -hmm. and what was around her. That's not for me to say, but what Correct. I'm saying Correct. is that she was just put into a difficult position. Mm -hmm. And that's where it becomes, you know, where the human side come in for me. It's like, oh, damn, oh. that's fucked up, and she has no choice but to take it. All I'm saying, Flip, is if this was another, back then, if uh -huh. this was another exact same situation with another person, the way she would have reported on it and handled it is the way that people, a lot of people, are speaking about her today. Sure. The report on it is, I'm fine with, but I'm just talking about lifetime. If you understand what I'm saying. It's a report. Oh, you mean, so you saying listen, it's wrong for Lifetime to come in here and No, do that. it's a report. It's not wrong, Bro, but listen. I just feel like she had, they left, they left her with no choice, my opinion. We can move on from this, right? All right yeah. You're saying basically Lifetime caught you at a down point in yes. your life. And we're going to monopolize. exploiting it. And we're going to yes. exploit it and monopolize it. Cool. Somebody else could have been going through a hard time in their life. Okay. You didn't handle them with grace. You exploited them for your ratings as well. If me and my family going through some shit that you know about that the world don't know about, now you take it and you use it to push your platform. You doing essentially what Lifetime is doing to her. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Well, she got to deal with Lifetime, so I don't want to. And she got paid. I mean, but, but, but and like, she's like, getting but, but paid. Like saying, it's out of necessity. Didn't. She cut that deal probably out of necessity. Yeah, from so. the banks and the money mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah, yeah. what the network did and what my husband did mm -hmm. yeah. and now my mm -hmm. health. And like now. even when that first started happening with her husband, when that situation first broke, people was like. Uh huh. True. How many people's husbands have you talked about mm -hmm. and, and brought True. issues that nobody you. else knew about? I now it's that, at your front door. I think that says more about society than it does about Wendy Williams. Exactly. Like, the more I keep listening to y'all talk, like, and I think I understand what you're saying, but that's just really nasty from society to but, be yeah. in that place to say, hey, you did this, so. Good, I want to see you with lupus or Alzheimer's or nah, I, don't, I don't even think it's the I want to see you with it. No, it's they just, do. But I'm, but, ha I'm happy you got I'm happy your health is deteriorating. If you did this, the way you treated folk, don't expect people to now treat you that's, any different. That, that goes to ISIS and allergy. If, if if this show, God forbid, because I need a couple dollars. Yeah, facts. We're, we're, um, we're, take that go, back. I'll go down put that tomorrow, in there. niggas will come out with their another one bites the dust and be laughing. They would literally Rejoice in the yeah, fact but that this would implode. I they agree would be with happy. that. You I agree with saying? that, but I don't like the example. And 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 the and the example I would say is if this show ends tomorrow because my health is deteriorated, then I'm still with y'all. People still gonna play that song. Yes, but is it right? No. Is it no. right to say? Two is it, wrongs is don't it right? right? No, no. I'm saying is it right for the people playing another one bites the dust for me to. Uh, to do that because my health is, or because I played the song before. Come on, they don't Come care on. about the they reason and why. They care less about that. They could care less about that. It's really just, yeah, your shit is now crumbling. Yours might be health reason. related, and again, let's let's say yeah, God forbid. Let's say God forbid. I think Yours might be health related. Somebody else's might be whatever. It still leaves their family in a financial bind and a fucked up situation, and we laughing at that as opposed to maybe somebody else's being a, a health related issue. But what, what if his morals won't allow him to play another one? Bites the dust. When somebody has a health related issue, they can say Joe that was... their morals wouldn't allow them to call. Wendy Williams told about somebody, their wife had cancer. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew that their wife had cancer. Mm. She talked about the person's wife. She disclosed the fact that somebody's wife had cancer and their family members didn't even know. Mm. So somebody could say, yo, you didn't care about that particular situation and Got what it. the effects would be on their family. So now they don't care about whatever it is that you're going through. We can't pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? With semantics, it could be Joe lost all his money. That ain't funny to me. 
No. Somebody no. might have a, a, a cancer. That's not funny to me, but you don't get to say, oh, I was laughing at you because you was broke, not laughing at you because you going through some health shit. To me, they both are devastating and they both are not funny to me. And it, You know what I mean? Like, I they you. should be handled accordingly. That's my opinion. So, but prayers to her. Like, I'm, I'm definitely yeah. not, I'm just giving a, a yeah, I'm not one a, of the ones subjective I'm happy for, for conversation. Yeah, I'm just having a conversation. She she was cool. Even Kev was cool. The times that, you know, people that they going through whatever they going through, but he's done some square business with a lot of people that I know. So, mm. you know, I hope they work it out. And the Super Bowl party used to be fire. This giving was just bringing me back to Joan Rivers. Like nastiness. I'm saying in the 90s, and I'm not co-signing everything Nikki, uh, not Nikki, Wendy. fucking Wendy did. Mm. And we are going to move on. But she was the best. Indeed. Yes. Bar none. The best. And she did whatever she thought she had to do mm -hmm. back then to be number one, to it, propel BLS to where they are, to open the doors and pave the way for everybody to come after, especially mm -hmm. women, Hot. to see what mm -hmm. she to, mm -hmm. to do what she had to do to get the television deal at a time where women it were not doing getting that. television Especially deals. black women. Especially black women. Mm -hmm. She was a very early, she was a very early representative of the LGBTQA plus That's community, mm -hmm. which is why that style that everybody is punishing her for having all of the reads, all of that toxic, nasty shit, mm -hmm. some of the shit you spoke on, Society is now there embracing mm -hmm. some of those mm -hmm. things. You're right. So I just, all of them. Yeah, all of them. Right. You're right. So You're I right. just hate when you know we adopt adopt everything fly from this person and then we kick them to the wayside because they fucked up a few times or because they just have a uh we just have an ill view of them. It's like Joe Paterno. It's like Joe Paterno all over again. Joe Paterno lived his whole life, do all that shit, great, great, great. And now when we find out the assistant coach is doing that nasty shit in the bathroom, now we gotta take the statue down, take the <laughs> banners that way. Why why? Why? I think it's fucked up. I'm never a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not. And that's not just because I'm Wendy Williams Jersey bias. I think it's fucked up. No, it's your friend. I ain't friends like that, but friends enough. I, I see both sides. I do. I'm an empath. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going? Sorry. Where Sorry. you going? Huh? Where you going? <laughs> okay. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. I thought you said empath somewhere. No, I'm an empath. Empath. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I thought you said I am. Which is yeah. why I knew what you were trying to do when you were defending that girl. Oh. 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 It's only my empath abilities. Uh. My empathic ways. <laughs> By empath, I mean, I care what you're saying. <laughs> yes. Come on, Thank you, Bart. What you said. <laughs> you fucking hilarious. That was the craziest take. <laughs> why did y'all think that was so funny? Yeah, that's crazy. What? The why? Empath? I'm an empath, but that means I just that's understand. I heard what empath. you said. A person who has a particular tendency your ability to, to enter into or psychologically identify with the emotions, thoughts, and attitude or attitudes of others. So why does the whole room laugh when I say, nah, I feel what y'all, I feel where you're coming from. And Mel, you don't think he's an empath after hearing that definition? Oh, he's a regular fucking Mr. Rogers. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> fucking mm. I thought you were saying Mr. Hyde. Oh, shh. Yo. <laughs> they get into the 50 year old jokes. I don't even know what either of them is talking about. <laughs> I can't keep up with this old jargon. <laughs> Would you be my neighbor? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? <clears throat> nigga, yo. Well, my girl Danny Lay got probation, thankfully. I'm <laughs> clapping it up. No, I'm happy. What? I don't want her to go to jail. I know, because you ain't going to be able to get no. Um... Wait, after your whole karmic retribution speech? <laughs> Holy I shit. didn't say that. Holy was, shit. I believe that. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! Not you got me. You got Picking and dog. choosing. You got it, big dog. Like everybody do. That's what life That's is. Yeah, I scared. That's different. You know. I it's said you got it. I didn't say a word. <laughs> yeah, they gave a five. Tell me year. why it's different. I think hers was a mistake. Who? Danny Lay for five blocks. She dragged. <laughs> Come on. I know y'all like the girl. I know she look good. Not I know. She, I, bro, I, she do? Yeah. So she for clarification, like, she was on, under man. the influence too, right? She should have had yes. a thing on her steering okay. wheel. She was yeah. drunk. Like, it's, it's not funny because somebody got se severely injured. But mm -hmm. I think what she did, it was a mistake. You get what I'm saying? I was under the influence. I hit somebody. I might not have known that they were under the car. And I, I dragged them. 
Wendy wow, Williams. That is was, a lot of sympathy. No, I'm just saying it was a mistake. You have a drunk but girl. You, you, you I don't think she consciously and a, deliberately is out here doing. Wendy Williams was doing certain things to well, people on a day to day basis. My nigga, that was affecting people's lives negatively. This lady got drunk and drove. Yeah, that's yes. not a mistake. True. Mm -hmm. She right. got drunk and drove. You're right. True. Keep going. Take your cape off. I'm not. And on top of that, somebody was injured. Five years probation, which, you know, salute. I don't want to see anybody in prison. But at the same time, how does the family feel about that? This man's spine is injured. I agree with you. I'm saying she affected their family negatively. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think by mistake. The mistake was what? That hitting she didn't them. mean to run, hit She didn't mean to hit them. Yeah. Keep driving. She didn't mean to hit the person. I didn't go out and like, target drunk, somebody she like probably I was playing OG's I'm lady. agreeing with I got you. you. But right. That's she didn't why you mean get some level you. of punishment. Yeah. But when you, okay. uh, you are deliberately researching people's lives, you are deliberately finding out the tea on people I got, I that's you. affecting their kids, their wife, their husband in a negative way for a matter of years, you can't compare the two. And again, shout the wind. I'm not shoot. I'm, I'm I'm taking an objective. I hate stand. when niggas shoot so much bullets and they say I'm not shooting. <laughs> I'm <laughs> nigga, not let off an AK, no, bro. Rah, we, I'm not no, shooting. I'm not, we we up. We in our podcast bag. We supposed to have I got compelling you. conversations got from two different sides. I didn't think we were gonna get the uh, Wendy Williams. <laughs> I didn't see the comparison. Yeah, I, I didn't see the comparison. Coming. I didn't see that. that. I was just saying. I'm glad she's not going to prison. That was it. I just want to see her come across his timeline. That's all he worried about. I, I fuck with Danny Lay. I, I fuck with the music. Hey, yeah, word. Oh shit! Da, 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 da. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> it, was, it was a mistake. <laughs> Bongo, oh, shit, I'm sorry. Bongo, I. <clears throat> you a fool. Son. Oh, she still got to go through a civil trial, though. Mm. Oh, oh, you want, oh, you want her to go down? I'm not. No, no, she's no, going no. to. You heard she's her, going, you heard going, going to. No, I'm just saying. You mean she's going to? <laughs> she's gonna have to pay. Yeah. She has to pay. We know she has Why? to pay. Yeah, you got to pay. She could settle out. She ain't got to go through a civil trial. Settle is pay. That's not trial. Okay. Oh, yeah, she don't have to. Okay, so she maybe it doesn't go to trial, but it's still things. going to end up being a civil case. Yeah. Some proceedings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She going to spend some spanky. Hey. I'm not hating. It's, I'm just glad the young lady's it's, not it's, in a, it's fucking America. It's the most litigious country on the fucking planet. She's mm. It's going to go to a civil situation. Yes. That's all I'm I agree. I agree. And she should. Like, be she clear. Should, she, she should you get did her that. little muffin crack to pay for my man's hospital, his loss of wages, everything, everything loss of livelihood for the rest of his life. You want to make a stupid ass decision to drive drunk? Cracker. Mm -hmm. Barrel. I don't do that no more. <laughs> that drive drunk shit. <laughs> nah, never again. Out, no. Never again. Shit ain't funny. I've had way too many close calls, and thank God, knock on something mm. that I didn't end up in a position like she did. Word. Like at, at one point you just be like, yo, my man, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And you just got to tell yourself, yo, you, you got lucky again. You ain't going to just keep getting lucky every time. So to anybody out there that's doing that, man, get an Uber, get an Uber, bro. Trust me. I don't care if this, if it's surge pricing. I'm dead right. ass serious. Right. Fam, I'm dead right. serious. No, right. All jokes right. aside, you're right. But I'm you, not joking about that shit. you wearing no condoms for 30 years. I'm snipped. What about well, clean. It was snipping on preventing from STDs. Clean, 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 clean women prevent. And gonorrhea would snip that shit right on up. <laughs> chlamydia would clap that you, shit right on snip. up. You snip that chlamydia <laughs> build a bridge. Y'all gotta leave them. Y'all gotta leave them dirty chicks alone, dog. That chlamydia build a bridge. Come on over here. Yeah. He oh, we got another one. We we built it back, nigga. You crazy? Stupid. Yo, do niggas still get crabs? Got. <laughs> I think that shit is over, man. I was saying, because certain diseases do they vanish away? Once we like all the chicken pox. Maintaining our nether regions, I think that. See, that's why I got my shit. Because crab, you know, crab. crab. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's crab free over there. He's crab. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> I went back for my second treatment the other day. Can I ask you a question. <laughs> crab is not, okay. I had my second treatment the other God. day. This nigga here. I did. <laughs> um, anytime you catch the neck, you make her put something on. What's that mean? What is catching? Get ahead, nigga. No. So you, you in the same fucking you, you, boat. You get the clap from the head. Anytime you catch the neck. Catch the neck. Catch face off. He right. <laughs> yeah. You catch face off. Yeah, you get SCD from getting head. Yes, nigga. I, I, so I've heard. <laughs> I got caught this. I, I got, got caught off fire like that when I was younger, nigga. What? Yeah, what? She ate from the neck? with her mouth? One of them shit. Shut up, yo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mother, got, shit. Shut up, yo. I got the documents. I read it the other day. I, bring, I said it to you. Don't put it out. You pop. No. 
So you caught the like, neck and caught something with it. Yeah. Having the clap in the throw is crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. She had a raspy I voice. God, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I think her voice was raspy. <laughs> <laughs> So Krabs is gone. I, I don't know. I wouldn't. How would did you get your bathroom? Yo, but look, what's funny? When a nigga come in and be like, yo, I got the crab, we wouldn't even know that the shit nigga got it. It's like, like itching. You see him, he starts scratching. Yeah. <laughs> see that nigga sitting there doing it. <laughs> you see yo, fam, bug- what you doing, yo? <laughs> Are there little bugs on it? I think it's like oh, lights. Oh, oh, all right, all right. Oh, they oh, said, right. oh, I have a part of Joe. Sorry, man. <laughs> Joe, Go ahead. Joe, come on. Uh, this is from uh, Seti Simmons. All right, what's up, Seti? Seti, what up? Seti. Seti Simmons. All right, let's see what Seti Simmons says. Uh, what up, guys and Mel? Hey. Big time fan and supporter. I'll try to make this short and simple since. Mm-hmm. Recently, my ex-wife and the mother of my three daughters and I have been on the road to mending and repairing a somewhat toxic relationship Dope. that we've had with each other since our divorce in 2013. That's what's mm, up. Okay. That's what's up, bro. We never fully did the work to heal from our traumas, and we allowed outside people to keep us at odds for so long. (laughs) Over the last couple of years, this has been uh, this has been in a much better state. The problem is that we are not working towards a future together, but this newfound relationship had caused me to lose out on two potential girlfriends because they don't see healthy boundaries between myself and and the other one of my daughters. He just lost his shit. Yo, he fucked me. Yo, yeah, bro, I'm rolling. Rolling. Like, is it me? Hold up, go back. Uh, he was mending his again. relationship with his baby mom. Maybe, but he didn't his say ex-wife. His ex-wife. 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 Okay, so he's not necessarily trying to get back with her, it sounds like. I... They're just mending the relationship. They're cool. They're cool I now. That, okay, this, yeah. this follows. This tracks. Like, My okay. question is, I thought it was getting back how, do I set I did too. how do I set or establish a healthy boundary, but at the same time continue to try and repair a damaged relationship? All inputs are well appreciated. See, Much love losing and respect. Me. He wants to have a healthy relationship with his baby mom's ex-wife, but he still wants to like get some hoes. So, so, so I guess he's he not mentioned... getting back with her. No, I. But do she he think? Me- do she know that? But then he mentioned the oldest daughter, so that was where I kind of I got thrown. Are you? Fo- did you follow him? I'm confused. I follow. I think we should re- he's re-read. He's trying to read it again. We're doing too much. I think we should reread it. Recently, my ex-wife and the mother of my three daughters and I have been on the road to mending and repairing a somewhat toxic relationship we've had with each other since our divorce in 2013. Got it. That don't say he's trying to get back. Right, right, right. That that part. I think that's where we're getting lost. We never fully did the work to heal from our traumas, and we and we allowed outside people to keep us at odds for so long. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the sentence on me. Over the last couple of years. Maybe things is what he's trying to say. Over the last couple of years, this has been in a much better state. Things Things. have been in a much better state. The problem is that we're not working toward a future together. But this newfound relationship has caused me to lose out on two potential girlfriends. This makes sense. Because they don't see healthy boundaries between myself and the other other one of my This makes sense. Okay, the typos fucked me up. Gotcha. Now I understand what he's saying. The boundary between and the other one of my daughters is what's losing me. I feel him now. Well, it sounds like him him and his ex-wife had a toxic relationship. That probably trickled over to the kids. And now they're fixing that. But and he's losing chicks. He's losing it. chicks because yeah. of it because he's trying to mend the relationship with his ex, and new girls aren't going to like that. And his daughter, I have don't... to ask a few questions. Yeah, his yeah. daughter probably not feeling him. One, no, the daughters. He said, "How friendly? How, how are you in the ex?" That's what my because, question was. Because if you're saying that you trying to mend the relationship with your ex and your family has cost you two separate relationships uh-huh. it depends on to what degree you and the ex are you get what i'm saying like he might be still he might have started hitting it again you or never he know he might be leading her up. that's why i said do she know that when he yeah. said when he said they're not trying to get back together because mm-hmm. it could be an issue like that and that's where the boundary get blurred at because mm-hmm. she thinks one thing is happening you Maybe it could be presenting it that way, but still, because he's at a certain age. You but can it tell. also, it also could weird, be, yo. it also could be the women that he's dating have a, a insecure, a, a insecure mm-hmm. mind state, and mm-hmm. they're just getting jealous because you have a relationship that's healthy or trying to be healthy with your ex-wife and baby mother. Or he could be putting her ahead of them. 
Maybe. Well, his priority like right that. now is yeah, to yeah. continue with the traction that he's gained with his ex-wife, that is the mother of his kids, and reestablishing, you know, kind of like a healthy mm -hmm. rapport with him, and then that in turn trickles down to his daughters. It seems like there's an issue with him and his oldest daughter. So, just, so this, yeah, so that that relationship is the priority, I and agree. that's what he should focus on, like having girl, you know, other girlfriends. I mean it might just not be the right time to try to establish a whole other relationship with another woman when shit is still kind Especially of like... Especially if you're trying to repair you know, with your daughter, with your There's still children. too many gray areas yeah. in in this major I, one. Yeah, yeah. You like, know? He didn't really give enough details, but I agree. Yeah. I, think I agree that, with what you're saying. Um, if the new girls, they new girls, mm. they don't really hold any weight in your life. They're right. new women. So um, I think your priority should be to, to devote whatever attention necessary and setting boundaries just isn't easy. You know what I mean? You have to like kind of establish like what is a healthy boundary. And a lot of people don't even know what healthy boundaries are. This is like kind of like what, you know, therapy teaches you is how to create boundaries. What's a healthy boundary mm -hmm. and, and that sort of thing. So uh, he might want to incorporate I, that. Yeah, I think you should like, just lay off the new chicks for a while mm -hmm. until you figure out, get your shit right over here. Because a new girl could... You could tell her what you're doing, and she she could assume that it'd be a red flag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just it's, it's hard. Real quick, to the side. real quick, I, I, I can relate to this. Just real quick, mm -hmm. um, because of my behavior as a child, my father lost girlfriends because they wanted him to pick. Like this son is bad. Send him with his mother. He's disrespectful. He's rude. But he chose to give me the attention mm -hmm. and let that go. So I, I can see now in retrospect how that can be a problem. There were some nice ladies. They were nice, but I was disrespectful. I was one of them trouble kids at the That's time. That's interesting. I give you attention now, and you're still disrespectful and mean. And <laughs> you're not my father. <laughs> and I'm not rude. No, we good. <laughs> we not good. I mean. But who my father? I don't know you. I don't know, but I didn't say Yo, that. Yo, nigga, I did when you said this nigga my father. Me. I didn't say that. I, I did. Play, play with me right now. Go ahead. Me. All right. Once this come on, nigga. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If you play around my family, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Right. Again, sure, Joe. Sure, Jab. Me and me and Ish is not your viral your viral fathers. No. Oh, oh shit. No. No. Your no. Pod daddies. Okay. Y'all yeah, niggas look crazy. Stop. <laughs> like, look, you know, niggas look crazy on the internet. Hey, hey, look. You look now. He don't look really crazy, but you look crazy. When does that matter to me? It doesn't. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter to me neither. Talk about what these niggas is talking about. <laughs> Looking crazy? I set myself on fire, nigga. I, I I'm sitting here agreeing with you. Yeah. You care my, about looking crazy, did you? damn right. Yeah, I heard This It's not good for the pod. <laughs> I heard what you said. I listened to that shit mad times. I said, oh, shit. He slipped that in there. That's what you wanted. You won because you said that I didn't even want to have this conversation. You smart. You move your me and the fingers out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. Good, good luck, um, homeboy. Yeah, yeah good luck. Yeah, good luck. Seti. 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 Yeah, good luck, Seti. Good luck. Twin... I don't want to hear twinning songs no more, though. Why? Mm. Anytime bitches learn a new word, they just use it till it can't be used anymore. They use it out of context. There ain't that many twins in the world. <laughs> we don't, y'all don't be <laughs> twins. Mad twins in the world. Y'all don't be twins, yo. They don't twins. be twins. Damn. Ladies use that twin shit as a form of manipulation, and I don't have the Ooh. energy to get into it. Ooh. 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 Oh, shit, you thought about your shit before that's you came back inside. Nah, that's a that's good one. A, yeah. That's, that's a, a good one. Let's go, Joe. Nobody knows me quite like. I do like that song, man. That God damn it. That shit is fire. Damn it, UMG. <laughs> <laughs> I know who don't like that it song. Give, it gives me an old feel, though, Joe. Like, right? You know? You know who don't like it? Who don't like it? Mm. Ari Lennox. So why? I don't get that. She don't like that shit. She break the radio on that shit. Come on. <laughs> Throw that shit against the wall. JD wrote that song. JD wrote. A few of her records that she's trying to release. That's all. When I have to explain it, it makes it seem like I'm being mean. Got you. So I want to not be mean. Got you. Don't get it. Used. Jermaine Dupree. Yeah. He wrote that song for Money Money Long. Yeah. And not for. Mm. Mm. Got it. Twin. <laughs> yeah. Where have you been? Yeah. Probably don't sound the same with a football helmet on anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Man. All right. What else we got? Uh, Twenty One Savage, Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross is another one of those guys that are from the other side of the internet for me. Mm -hmm. I don't pay attention to none of that shit. I don't know who he is, what he do. I know he's a very popular streamer. Yeah. Uh, 21 with over there. He did Casanat too. 
Yeah, yep. he's making around. So yeah, he did yeah. Aiden Ross. They played black cards or whatever fucking card game they was playing. Mm -hmm. uh, 21 lost a lot of money. Then Aiden Ross said the cards were marked. He was down 250. And then... Um, Who was down 250? 21 was down 250,000. 250, and then... Next thing you know, he's up about 400. And then that's when he said, yo, the cards are marked. And they went and looked through the cards and the cards was marked. If this were anybody else, boy, I would have a good a good time with this. But I don't believe that 21 Savage tried to do that. I don't believe that. I don't believe anything about this story. Oh, you think it's all fake? I think this is fake. I think the story with him and Kasanai, with Kai breaking all of his equipment because he lost 300,000 to 21 Savage. I think what's happening is today, the, the, the acts are now sitting with the streamers. We already discussed that before. That is the new... Um, wave. Yeah, that's the new, that's the new interview wave, part. all of that. Mm -hmm. And it we is. need to find something here to make you sitting with this streamer go. I, I, I'll take it a step further. I feel like... Hey. The, the, yeah, <laughs> the gambling thing is... People really try to push that because of the companies that's coming out mm -hmm. and, mm. in support of these streams, you know what I mean? That's reaching out. There's a lot of different companies, so... I think it's a rollout as well. So it could be a branding thing for 21. Uh, yes. Yeah. That yes. I'm a gambler now. We're going to get me on a gambling platform. Because that's, uh, a, that's a big... Mm -hmm. I didn't know how big it was over there, but it's big. It's big. It's gambling? huge. Watch gambling. I didn't huge. Know, I know gambling is big, but I didn't know how... I thought it was illegal. Nah. No, nah, not no more. Yeah. 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 Shit, LeBron just signed a deal with, with uh, one of them companies. I won't say their name. But oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Biggest sports athlete damn near out there is partnered up with one of them now. Got you. It's money. It's, it's, it's money, a lot of money, money going on now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Salute. They so mad that they waited so long to legalize it. Really? Yeah, yeah, true mm. word. They, they getting it back in blood. Got it. Salute. But, but yeah, I do think, uh, back to that, I just think all of this is, we have to find something now. It's, you shooting a skit. Yeah, it's the same shit. That's what it is. Just no long that, That's not trying to be funny this time. Okay. It's you sitting, it's, it's a skit. No, when I say it before, I be trying to be funny. But <laughs> it's, it's we gonna get we're going to get together, we're going to think up something, and we're going to... And now that's going to be a part of your brand and that individual's brand that they could potentially push and market. Smart. It is. Yeah, yeah you want me to go first? With what? Oh, shit. Your sleeper? No, I'm fine. Oh, I was about to say. Why, Mel been kicking your ass? She has not. Now now she kicking my Yo, you are. I'm up. only going by what the people say. It's uh, not my opinion. I I'm, I'm one the of the people. people. Walk. <laughs> I hear the people talk. <laughs> she, got, she got her foot about... At least that high. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. It might be might be past the knee. You know, Mel got she had the boots that mm -hmm, she came mm -hmm. in that came true, up true, to the thigh. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. She got yeah, her foot so far in his ass. You got a coach ass. What's wrong with you? Put that little coach boot right up, yeah. up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody yes, love I, me. Yeah, you be wearing coach. These are not coach. I, I knew she was going to get a Yeah, I was guy. waiting for it. These are not. She don't play when it comes. One thing about it, she don't play when it comes. What's wrong with coach? Nothing's wrong with them. So I'm why the last you year, have though, to say? Because. The last year was coach. Huh? I, they were. What brand is so this? Why you shouldn't on coach? These are Valentino. <laughs> you don't see the diamonds? No, the way the coach got them diamonds. <laughs> no, they don't. I think I do. <laughs> That's just you. You take the glue and stick it on. <laughs> I'm going to custom my shoe. The bedazzler. <laughs> um, Joe Rogan. Yes. Joe Rogan. Ooh. Spotify Inc.'s a new multi-year partnership deal with the controversial podcast. Controversial. Shut He's up. controversial. Oh, oh, he is a little bit. He ain't, he ain't that controversial. For me. To say it. 700 mil later. You, mm -hmm. inked, you inked it. And you control the fucking ad rights for it. It ain't that controversial. Stop it. Uh, the Joe Rogan experience, which is said to be worth up to $250 million. Under the new pack, Rogan's popular show will now be available on other audio platforms. In addition to being available on Spotify, Rogan's show will soon be available on additional services, including Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and YouTube. Mm. The new move comes under Spotify's revised strategy to relinquish exclusive streaming rights in favor of broader distribution which the company kicked off in 2023. The Wall Street Journal first reported Spotify's renewal with Rogan. Stick up. So uh, let me ask you. Spotify said you they will question. continue oh, to work sorry. closely with Rogan and his team to continue to maximize the audience of the show across platforms. Under the new pack, Spotify will handle distribution and ad sales for the podcast. Rogan will receive a guaranteed minimum fee from Spotify as well as a cut of advertising revenue. Whew. 
I, I have a mm. question. What's the opposite of another one bites the dust? <laughs> <laughs> we need a. We might, rich we are rich. All I do we, is we, win, 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 no matter what. We are the champions. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's Sheesh. the question? Um, now that all this is happening, if if they came back to you, would you take it? Came back to me and said, "What? Two hundred fifty million? Yeah, I'll take it." <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Not two hundred fifty million, but if they came to you and said, "Joe, we want you back," because you, you you lit shit up, you lit shit up. If they come back to you, would you even entertain the conversation? Are you one of those people that if somebody do something wrong, you won't revisit the business? It was nothing nah, personal, it's business. right? Okay, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. Personal for me. My number is still my number. You come back with that number, then we can talk about it. Oh, no, so anybody that has number. my number, they can come talk about it. But the number is new now from what you asked before. No, well, the number before dealt with projections. So if you're dealing with a five-year deal, you have to project where you would be in five years. I see your number will reflect that growth. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody loves me. But listen, man, I'm sitting here fighting with you about viral moments with me, you and Ish. This, this shit I need to be getting on. <laughs> This is viral. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Yo, that's my, that ain't bacteria right that there, baby. <laughs> that is viral. I'm still in my line. My yeah, bacteria. No, this is I'll something else it. right that's there. That's fire. You niggas is bacteria out there. I ain't viral, nigga. <laughs> Yo, tell stole, me the, I stole your shit. Gonna steal my shit. Tell me Word. what the difference is. Uh, congratulations to Joe Rogan and Word. Spotify. Yeah. yeah. Uh, much like TikTok, I don't think Spotify had much of a choice. I was going to ask you. In this. It I, don't sound like it. No, I don't. Non exclusive? Stick up, stick and up. you getting a piece of the ads. Mm -hmm. It, it, it sounds yeah, like your nigga. It's take it or leave it. I was gonna say it sounded like a steamroll, not a deal. Nigga, you see what I did? I done outworked. I done outproved everything. What's mm -hmm. it's either this or I'm out the door. Mm. Free agent time. What's up? They still, they still win. Of, of course, two hundred fifty million dollars is a win. We talking about Spotify. 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 Yeah, of course they would. I want to know more details on this deal. Because they're going to sell more than $250 million in ads for him. I want to oh, yeah. much more. Yeah. Much, so much like, more. we ain't losing nothing. But the ads is when you play the ads and people click it. And mm -hmm. Spotify yeah. is going to sell the yeah. ads. They're going to sell a billion. The, did you see the shit with... Um, Spotify is paying to be universal in this instance. There you yeah. go. Yeah, they're, there pa go. they're paying great. him That's so great. we can control the rights to the ads, the show, whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and he'll participate, mm -hmm. but we want to control this. So sure. when we go, the way we co-cut these deals is different from how any one person got it, can go got cut it. it. But the 250 will be made back in, in a heartbeat. Of course. Month, I'm just saying, month even, one. Even, and even, Spotify, even, I'm even the fact that he goes and get and the deals y'all cut, I get it. I've negotiated a piece of that too. True. But you know that's cool though. Not yeah. just that. No, I'm, Spotify yeah. is a publicly that's traded company. Uh -huh. So upon announcement of this deal, they damn near can make that money back in a week. Or That's true. Not even yeah. a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. it's just a big. That's big what happened last time they announced with him. I remember, mm -hmm. but I was at your house. You was tight, but <laughs> 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 no, you know what? You wasn't tight over that. It was tight over something else. Thank you. <laughs> no, because I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'll remind you. No, he was, was just like, "Yo, this is what is going on," and niggas is not even focused on this. They focus on some stupid shit. Yeah. So he was tight. That's always the problem with niggas. But, um, <laughs> focused on the wrong shit. But that's no, learned. The nigga, that's, that's, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you right, flip. Caesar, did you see the shit with uh, Caesar from Black Ink? Uh, what he said? He said that off of Black Ink, um, the, who was it, VH1? VH1. Mm -hmm. uh, made, made over a billion dollars. Made $1.2 billion in ads. Sheesh. Over, One, over a 10 year span. Over a 10 year span. So imagine this is Rogan. Mm -hmm. These ain't no black people doing tattoos. This is Joe Rogan. Every day, you You're know what I'm saying? Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaurs and motherfucking <laughs> pilots and all types of shit. Yeah, Imagine but that's it. where the race stuff comes into play at. And I ain't about to sour this out, but in Caesar's example, he was mm -hmm. saying, dog, I couldn't, we couldn't get a piece of none of that. Nothing. Like, I brought you the show, you make a billion in advertising over 10 years, and we can't get nothing. No residuals even today, because they still mm -hmm. airing the show today. I'm not going to get in Mona, Mona, uh, Mona Scott Young's business, but I'm sure that. That yeah. beef is over there too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure. And some There's plenty going. of black people that could bring you some shit, and in co in combination with what you're doing, y'all gonna get all the ads in the world off this fly shit that mm -hmm. we making. It's just Spotify is down to cut him in. Yeah. Here. Do, do you? Well, think, actually, no, 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 no. Yeah, they're not. They're not, not, they not down. They, they, they don't they have, have a choice. 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 To cut me do you think we'd be so eager to get our shit and sign, Joe? That's what we'd be so eager. That's what it is. We'd be eager to just sign and then. Later on. Well, that's like the basis of reality it. TV for the mm. most part. For the most part, you're getting relative unknowns who want the look. You know what I'm saying? So they're 
super predatory. They they they, they know. Bro, we talk These about niggas. we talk about the shit with the record labels all yeah, the time. Yeah, I know. Bro, they bad it. deals that you might know is a bad deal. But what? I think but I'm we in signed. a fucked up position at this particular yes, moment. Yes. I need to take it. Yep. And sometimes we revisit it, but then with the money comes a different lifestyle. But, but if you, you believe in your up. talent, like take Joe for example. Mm. I don't know what your deal was. That deal that they gave you then, I know you won't take today. Hell no. But if you believe in your talent, this ain't nothing but a stepping stone for where we could go. Mm -hmm. So let me show the world that I could take this bum bum ass deal. I'm gonna make it happen, and now I'm gonna increase my worth and I'm gonna increase my value to crack them over the head. The bad part is every artist don't think like that. that, that No, no, no. Every artist don't deliver. So now on a re-up, you can't really re-up because you ain't delivered. What I, what I, when Joe That's was true. talking just now, I was saying this learned behavior, right? So Joe, I'm pretty sure when he first signed, like when I, when I know his story from what I know, when he first signed, he's, today he went and signed a deal that he signed when he was start, starting mm-hmm. to rap, right? Mm-hmm. No, and not rap. I'm talking, about- I'm talking about... I'm talking about even the rap. I'm going oh. that far, mm-hmm. right? So what I'm saying is that he had made it his duty to learn these things and learn the contracts and understand that a lot of people don't make it their duty. So I'll be impressed. You know what I mean? Even talking from web to web and them and when they tell me about the deals and stuff because they break it down and street niggas. Yeah, well, I had to... And then when I see Joe and he's passionate about learning, no, I need to learn the business. I need to know what these words are. I need to sit down. I respect that. It make me even look at things a little bit different. Because yeah, these sure. people are, are made to stiff you. Some people don't really get to the level where they can really even sit down and discuss the business. You think so? Yeah. Yes. You think that they don't get to the level or they just don't want to take the time? I think the lifestyle comes so fast, they don't want to take the time to review anything. Could be a combination. And yeah. bet on yourself. Because he'll bet on himself. Yeah. I bet on myself, nigga, I'm leaving. I'm out. A lot, a lot of people won't turn down that upfront money. But no. Right? And, don't, but, and don't, hold on, don't even and necessarily, don't even necessarily think about what it means, what you're giving up, what it, what you're selling to get that upfront money, you don't really think about that. And it's be clear, just, a lot of people don't. Maybe, maybe should take the upfront money. Yeah, but some no, people don't have like the work ethic and shit to shout out to Paul, fucking bro. fight it's, through. But if you show him, take the if you show and prove, mm-hmm. and you kicking ass out here, mm-hmm. even if you take the upfront money, it's a lot of upfront money mm-hmm. because you got to a place where they don't have a. Tr- Joe Rogan just took upfront money. He could potentially go off on his own and make more. No, I, I think Joe Rogan has just shouldn't even be in these talks. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm just giving an example. Like, but he 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 took the money. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't necessarily go the independent route. They could, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying once you get to a certain level where you could breathe, now I can start to focus on learning the business side of some of the shit mm-hmm. because I got enough money to where my family's okay and I'm okay, and now I could start to. Put new information into you, my brain. You know what else to happens? To be a better business person. A, a lot of times, it's almost like a, a, a cycle, or like you want a path this way. So the, uh, you get the money. I got to the point where I could breathe, but that money's coming kind of easy. So you think, hey, I'm cool like this right yeah, here. We lose the passion. They, they lose they, it. You they, don't they, even they, realize. Yeah. What happens? You get 10, 15 years down the line, and you realize how much money you didn't really make. How much money you made them. And that's what starts to happen with the rappers and stuff. They'll say, yo, hold, hold up, wait a minute. I, I did what? And it made how much? So now you want to go back and start looking at contracts and trying to figure shit out. It's just information gathering. You start gathering mm-hmm. information over time, and now it's like, okay, I made some mistakes here. Let me try to correct course. Got you. But, Got you. but again, shout out to Joe Rogan. Shout out to, yeah, that salute. shit is amazing. Yeah. Salute. It sounds like a, hate, a hateful thank you. Let me hit the applause button. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hit the applause. Button. All right, but shout out to them niggas. Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> hell no. Let me hit the applause. Nigga, three years ago, we was saluting um, Call Her Daddy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saluting none of them. No, I'm just saying, three years ago, we were saluting them for what they did. Now mm-hmm. this nigga just took it up a whole nother level. Do you think when people get no, the... No, he's out of that. Yeah. He is. But not... I, I have one last question. Sorry. Cut y'all off. Do you think when people get the money, right, do you think that they lose the same dedication they had to get to the level they got? You mean the drive? The same drive and dedication. The hunger. It's It's hard to act hungry if I'm full, my nigga. Nah, but it's always another. Because I watched something with Mr. T while, you know, he was all blinged out and he did an interview and he he had these old shoes. And Mr. T was saying the old shoes was passed down from his father to his brother to him to remind him how to be humble. 
So no matter how much money I get, it reminds me that I have a family to take care of. It remind, reminds me that I still have to keep going. I feel like a lot of people in our culture... Got nice shoes. Got night, but when they get the money, that's what they do, and they forget. They just forget what got them there. They become comfortable. I think complacent. Watch it, complacent. Yeah. yeah. I think your social circle dictates that. Mm. Me. I okay. think that when you get money. So if none of your friends got money mm-hmm. and you got two million dollars, you the big fish. But if you got two million dollars and that same hunger and that drive is in you, start hanging around the niggas that got twenty million. Mm. That I drive gonna it. kick back in. Mm-hmm. Right? Then when you get to twenty million, start hanging around the mother niggas that's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my wife just bought a seventy million dollar villa over here. You like what? Fifty Cent said it. He kind of said, "Yo, when I had a Benz, I thought I was the shit till I would start hu- fucking with niggas that had Ferraris, and then you start fucking with niggas that's buying buildings, and then you start fucking with niggas that's buying boats or planes. Your drive just start kicking in because your your social circle um, tends to mm. increase the more money you get. It don't do it for everybody, but." I think that's, that's where the hunger stays. True. Well said. That's a good one. Thank you. Pull your glasses up, man. I don't know if you're being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're being sarcastic. No, I'm not or being not. sarcastic. I'm serious. I agree, agree with y'all saying. That's right. And mm-hmm. once you get past, once you get past the, and I'm not talking about the people that just take the money, and y'all should send your sleepers if you have them. Uh, I'm not talking about the people that just take the money. Once you get past the disappointment with companies not coming and giving you the number that you're looking for, like you'll get pretty excited about the work that's ahead of you. Like, I don't want to make it sound like if somebody came with a certain number, I wouldn't take it. But the fact that they didn't and the fact that I know I'm prepared to do the work, like you get excited about it. Like you get excited about hitting whatever benchmarks you set for yourself. You get excited about incremental growth, mm-hmm. fucking big growth. It's just all exciting. It's exciting. Scary? Know. Huh? Scary too or no? Yeah. Yeah, but that's part of the excitement. The, the anxiety that's, part. That's, that's, that's a, a part of it. It fucking makes the engine go. Gotcha. Um, does anybody here know why niggas might be afraid to love Mel? No, please enlighten me. I don't know what floor you opening it up to. Hey, uh, tell me. Why? <laughs> Hard dating these actresses. Oh. That's true. That, that is that is true. It's tough dating these actresses. Because who can tell lot, if it's acting or more. real love? Come on. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> really, Parks? You never know. It's too brute. You never know. <laughs> Your last 20 sleepers have had the same, like, Theme. Con- concept. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, sometimes, you know, you speak She's through music. to somebody through her sleepers. Let's mm-hmm. respect it. Did you hear the sleep I played today? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even ask. That's how you made me feel. Yeah, but at some point, if you keep sending a nigga songs or a woman songs and they don't like text back, like, oh, respect. <laughs> 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 like, how many of these can you send without the nigga hey, being that, like, nah, that's the boy, that's stupid. That. Persistence. Yeah. First, you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. <laughs> Leah said it the best. Persistent. Yeah, Leah fan, that's what she said. Persistent indeed. Damn, Carl Weathers died. Rest in peace. I just saw mm. that. Damn, man. Damn. Rest in peace. Apollo. Rest in peace, Apollo. I feel like somebody else died, too, actually. Rest in peace to Ian's father. Rest in yes. peace to Ian's yes. father. Love yes. to the family. You already know. We love you, Ian. Mm. I don't wish that pain on nobody. No. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I had two friends lose parents in the last few weeks, man. That shit is terrifying. <laughs> they say you don't become a man until you lose your dad. I'm a boy still. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Yeah, be a boy. yeah, boy me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Nah, man, me. I'm a man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look in the lot, mirror. Yeah, that, yeah. A lot of niggas was men at birth. I, I was. <laughs> what are you talking about, nigga? I look in the mirror. I'm glad you said I look in the mirror and worse. see a man all day. That's ish. Bro, I ain't even got nothing to say to this. Mm-hmm. You know what? Yes. Oh. I said. Oh. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Let me see what you let's see if you. No, no, I'm just going. You not ill. I'm ending with Mel's song, man. Fuck it. What? I'm ending. <laughs> Let Mel's song rock song. Oh. Uh, What's wrong? No. You mad at me? I'll turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go you got home. Me sick, bro. You gotta go home. 
Go home. I didn't even think he was going into that because yeah. the month change. It's the first now, the second, whatever. It is. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, once your little PTO get <laughs> clocked back, <laughs> I did Rolled not. Over. I did no, not expect I to see you. To do that he told too. me there was no rollovers. Oh, uh, definitely no rollovers. No, that's not. I'm, well, I'm having a meet. We're having a meeting. Um, not about rollover. I have to. Oh, have it. I have to. Yeah, I have to. I have, I have some strict demands, man. <laughs> so they saw the Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. It ain't my business. I'm, Miss, I'm just here to work joking. and do my, do my job, man. I, I enjoy you. it. I've been comfortable. I'm just... Here we go. I feel you, TikTok. All that, all that temper tantrum oh, shit, shit is out. You, you call me who? TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Got to cut that deal. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Yo, man, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. Oh, so long. Goodbye. <laughs> See? Mm. Mm. You just gonna let the germs out through your nose. Exactly. That's why I got sick. <laughs> yeah. What you doing? I'm gonna clean my baby mom's up for that little trick she oh, pulled. Man. Where you just hot potato the child back and forth. She be, she be trying to get me sick on my baby free weekends. She know I'm gonna go out there and turn it up on her. <laughs> so Lex, was, Lex came over there sick? Down. Lex was sick. Badly? Which is why I'm sick again. Because of course I can't stop kissing my <laughs> Give me the kissy kissy. Good for my ass. New movie out, huh? Mm -hmm. You ain't tell us. I, I, I did. <laughs> this I've been I talking about movie you in. Yes. <laughs> what? That you didn't I tell us when you talk about it last year. We don't know so when it releases. Know coming out. I just found out. When you still ain't tell like, us. Joe told us when you found out yesterday. I found out the release date yesterday. You when does it come out? Anything else in the chat? March 9th. In theaters? It's no, it's movie? on Lifetime. Lifetime movie. Oh, it's on Lifetime. At her age, Lifetime. Congrats. Thank, yeah. you. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is it the one you shot in Canada? Yeah, yes. Right. What's the name of it? Can you say the name? It's of it? called Hunting Housewives. Oh, they what? Are you are you a wife in that one? No, 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 no. Are you a wife or you the hunter? I, am, I hate that I our brains work the same <laughs> way. <laughs> my girl, my girl, ma'am. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Yo, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. The closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab you a Tylenol. You might need it. Congrats to our good sister Mel on her movie. Thank you. And her and her wife debut. Fucked <laughs> <laughs> up. <laughs> Had to happen at some, at some point. At some point. Y'all hold it down out there, man. Everybody have a safe and enjoyable, fun weekend. And God willing, we'll be back same time, same place next week. <laughs> hey. Anybody got any fun weekend plans? I'm going in to try to get rid of whatever this is I got. Same thing with me. Okay. <laughs> got sick at work, so I'm just trying to figure it out. I don't out. know, man. I'm baby free. I might. I don't know. Mm. Wherever the wind takes me. I got some sea moss. You want it? I'll take it. I no just rats. made a batch. For I'll take it. Do you get you got sick for real? It, yes. Well, stay home the next three months. <laughs> <laughs> like get back, get better, heal, heal up. You give me a three, with, with pay. <laughs> yeah, with pay. Pass the fucking ball. Pass the ball. Stop that. Pass the fucking ball. Like he doesn't dribble in, at all. He doesn't have any free throws on the season. He doesn't have hey, any assists to feel don't like. Don't play shit like that. Do you talk up. to me, nigga? Play something else. <laughs> <laughs> don't be throwing shots at me. Don't talk to me through your shit. It's frustrating. Your, your I shit. think we'll figure it out. Hide the money, y'all. Oh. There's poor people around. <laughs> play a rich shit now. <laughs> with your broke ass. JBP, JBP. Where would you be without the JBP? Stupid, yo. New Joe Biden. <laughs>